Hi! Welcome to Fiasco Nuts! Uh, this is Brandon, <laughs> Hi. Ian, Kyle, and Amanda, special guest! Hi uh, there. How are you? Hi. Who are you talking to? Oh, hi, Brandon. Just happy you're here today. Gross. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, super weird, you guys. Cool it. <laughs> anyway, we're doing a setting, a playset from Fiasco 11, play, Playset Anthology Volume 2, called... The Zoo! Yay! Because <laughs> it sounds ridiculous. Aminals. Aminals. Love them. Gotta eat them. Mm, uh, delicious. Read this, because everyone was like, have yeah, Jones read it. Right. The Brook Market Zoo was a world-class institution, visited by locals and travelers alike. In the late 20th century, it was an iconic zoo, admired and beloved. Its animals were content, its visitors happy, its staff respected. Mm -mm. Chairman of the zoo board, D.E. Hitchcock IV, welcomed people to the grounds with beaming pride, as his father had for a generation before. Now, D.E. Hitchcock is dead. The community takes the zoo for granted, attendance is down, the zoo withers. The zookeepers grow desperate, money is tight. Other more successful zoos in other cities sniff around the place, looking to take away animals and staff. A proposed expansion project might drum up new interest in the zoo if the city approves the new zoning plan. But rumors persist that a multiplex is offering more money to buy up a chunk of the zoo land, displacing animals and staff forever. Are these the last days of the Brook Market Zoo? Or can someone with powerful ambition change things for the better? Huh. Who's to say? Time will tell. All right, this is a fiasco playset by Will Hindmarch. Or Hindmark. Who knows? <laughs> Hindmarch? Mm -hmm. Whatever. Um, Alright, so we begin by rolling the dice. Okay, so we're rolling dice. We've got two white dice and two black dice and Kyle's phone for everyone. Whoa. Whee! Wow. Yeah. Okay, so a lot of fives. A lot, lot of fives. Of fives. <laughs> All right. So we've got uh, some ones here, some threes here. Oh, that's a four. That's a four. That's a six. Okay. And one two. Wow. So we got four ones, one two, three threes, two fours, five fives, and one six. Mm. Oh no. As it <laughs> has been prophesied. Yes. <laughs> it has come to pass. Okay, so now what we do is we use these numbers, one through six, uh -huh. to choose uh, our relationships. So first we have the their head categories, keepers, zoo hierarchy, community, romance, illicit, and the past. Illicit. Illicit. It's illicit. 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 <laughs> yeah. That's great. Um, so then, uh, you know, <laughs> Jonesy usually goes first because why not? You have a pen there. Jones used to go first because he's like the new guy. Yeah. I kind of yeah. think Jones is a staple at this point. That's right. Uh oh. Yeah. Expected. Staple. Yeah. And he's on one end of the table. So man. And it's nice to have the guest. I went from the guest last. star part of oh. the opening credits to just they just mentioned me now. They're alphabetical. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, That's why Bossman's always first. Uh, <laughs> okay, so we gotta get we gotta get keepers. And Troop, I'm thinking. I'm thinking you need to be a keeper. Okay. So um, you can do these for yourself or anyone else. Right. Okay. But it's always it's a group effort. We're telling a story together, and there's no like winners or losers. Uh, I would like to make you and Kyle Bossman keepers. Okay. Ooh, okay. All, All right. right. So now so, Kyle will write. So look. So I so I'm picking this, this one on the top. So I'm not going to get into it. Another person can do that and figure out if you're a dolphin trainer and seal trainer or pachyderm habitat keeper and great cats keeper, etc. Um, okay, so now I, I shall charge choose. The great cats. I wish that we had more pens. Here, you we have two. At, for four people, right? Well, yeah. only one person needs to write at a time, because this is the relationship card for you two. Oh, for the two you of us. You and I are yeah. keepers. Yeah. So the relationships are, oh. both of you are keepers now. Okay. And That's then we'll we fill it in, in a minute, with, like, a specific. So yeah, like, great cats, watchers, or okay. whatever it was. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then after that, each relationship will get a detail that will be one of a need, a location, or an object. Okay. We'll have we'll end up with two needs total, one location and one object. And those are things that are important to both of you. 
So like if the need is like, you know, to to murder Shut the park murder down a gorilla or, or whatever, <laughs> both of you want to do that. For whatever reason, that's not going to be. That's in not going to be in here. Yeah, can we, I think we need to keep all those jokes. Oh yeah, out. Uh, my. I think that was an unintentional. That was unintentional. I was not thinking of Harambe. <laughs> I truly believe that was unintentional. That was one hundred percent unintentional. He uh, does also, not do intentional memes. Yeah, yeah. Also, I don't care. Um, oh. But uh, <laughs> it's worth noting that uh, this is a game. That contains adult situations, swearing, mm-hmm. violence sometimes, oh uh, very intense situations. Nudity. Yes. Nudity. Just crazy amounts of nudity. Wow. Amanda's an extremely Drugs. vulgar person. Vocal? Vocal and vulgar. Both. Oh, vulgar. <laughs> What's you're happening? Vo- you're vulgar. Last time we'll ever have a husband and wife team <laughs> on the show. Well, who am I kidding? None of the rest of us are ever going to find love. Uh, except for Bloodworth. Uh, <laughs> anyway, what am I doing here? Okay. Um, T- tell me what illicit means. Illicit. What, what okay, under so there? under illicit, we've yeah. got the would-be thief and the one with the plan. Okay. Betrayed by a common foe. The last two who know what really happened. Partners Whoa. in fraud. The liar and the one with the evidence and animal smugglers. Great. Yeah, obviously a lot of those are stacked, but I mean, we have five fives. Somebody's got to be illicit, because that's All number right. five. I'll make Kyle and myself illicit. Nice. Mm. So you're an illicit keeper. Okay. That's right. So wait, did Brandon, did Brandon use a die already? Oh, we have a yeah, one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We used the one. We used a one, and okay. then we used a five. Okay. Uh, this is easy for me. We need romance. It's not going to be Jones and Amanda, and so Ian mm-hmm. and Jones romance. Yay! <laughs> but is it one of those categories? Or hey, does that happen it's a later? category. So they so can be spouses. Four. They could be the nerd and the crush. Just yeah, so a simple now, flirtation. So now you can either choose the top, the bold category uh-huh. for you and Jones, or you can fill in the bottom category for your keeper's relationship with Bossman. My illicit relationship with Bossman uh-huh. or my romantic relationship with Jones. So either a top category for you and Jones uh-huh. or fill in the categories for the rest of us. Okay. So it's up to I you. I think since we're doing top categories yeah, we're going to yeah. do top it, category. Yeah, yeah. It usually is fine to go in that order. So, so far we have keepers, illicit, and romance for top categories. Romance. Romance. Um, I think I'm going to do zoo hierarchy. I'm going to use the two. Great call. Good call. So We're, that's a two. Spent our two, but I think that was worth it. Yeah. I think you need that. So zoo then hierarchy. you write yeah. relationship zoo hierarchy. I'm going to use the book so I can spell, spell hierarchy. hierarchy. Yep, that's what I would do. So uh, I say relationship. Can, so I, is that, is that can I guess? Oh. H-E-I-R-A-R-C-H-Y. Yeah, you got it. Nice. <laughs> hierarchy. <laughs> hierarchy. <laughs> Uh, like so that's, that's us? We, that's we, you and, 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 and... You have yeah. some uh, work relationship. Okay. I'd like to take this moment to thank our sponsor, Mavis Beacon Teaches Spelling. Uh, it really helped <laughs> Kyle. I've been on it for about Hierarchy. a month. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I remember doing it when I was a, a young kid, but I forgot everything I ever knew. S-P-L-E-N-D-I-D. Splendid. <laughs> <laughs> that is their catchphrase. Okay. <laughs> so I is being typing. Splendid. <laughs> Splendid. Um uh we only um Animal Smuggler sounds I, pretty funny. Dude. Too, right? I you, was thinking the Yeah, you took the words right out of my mouth. Like, yeah, oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Animal and it's our and it's our only six. Yeah, it kinda has to be. So yeah. Animal okay. smugglers in my <laughs> soup. <laughs> Monkeys and rabbits looped in. All right. Um, is this a real song? That's a yeah. real song. Wow. It's a uh, little Shirley Temple And Ian's going to come up with really great suggestions on how to do it, and Kyle's going to screw the whole thing up. I, yeah, it yeah. needs to happen. Uh, also, I'm just a, I'm just an animal smuggler trying to find love. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah I, I work found here. love already. And a super rare snow panda. I work here. Um, <laughs> yeah. Now it's my turn. Oh, yeah. yeah, you work this here. It's an inside job. Yeah. Yep. You're the inside man. Dude, look, the park's on the way down, okay? Oh, yeah. yeah. It's all over. Every every zookeeper for themselves. <laughs> all right, Not so if what I we can got? help it. <laughs> <laughs> so I like that you're... The, the, it's so short-staffed that you're in the zoo hierarchy and you're an animal keeper. Yeah. Like, 
All right, so let's see. What are our options here? Well, for zoo hierarchy, yeah, let's take a look. We got board, one, three, four, and five. Okay, so we can do two and six. Board, chairman, and zoo custodian. Mm -hmm. uh, skipping two. Then three is passed over for promotions today. Ooh. <laughs> Very nice. <laughs> Senior veterinarian and the new hire. Spokesperson and intern. And then uh, volunteers hires as scapegoats with six, but we can't do that. So wait, what's under keepers? Small mammals keeper and reptile house keeper. Can't do dolphin trainer and seal trainer. Pachyderm habitat keeper and great cats exclamation point keeper. Uh, ape escape keeper and monkey land keeper. Wow, wow. <laughs> uh, I like the rivalry there. That's ape funny. Yeah. yeah. Wolf den keeper and Australian excursion keeper and then six was rainforest adventure keeper and safari adventure keeper uh okay yeah so you could easily be both things yeah uh i don't know passed over for promotions today is kind of funny to me <laughs> yeah but do we like that i don't know um yeah you're both just pissed i guess the whole time. that would imply that like i got the promotion too Oh, wait. Oh, and so, uh, the zoo. I'm confused. The zoo hierarchy relationship is between myself and Brand. And Brand, Brand. Yeah. yeah. That you were both passed over for a promotion today. Yeah. So so far, or, that, so that, that also us, qualifies me as a zoo. Or one yeah. of us passed over the other person for promotion. I think we could do that. Yeah, I think it's either. Also, yeah, that means that everyone for sure works here except maybe me. Okay. Um, yeah, that's good. Do we like passed over for promotions? Yeah, because spokesperson interns pretty weak. Yeah, yeah, I like it. Senior veterinarian and new hire is mm. board zoo, board zoo custodian chairman kind of makes it crappy for one person. I think. Board yeah. chairman and zoo custodian is like it could be funny, but I don't know. Uh, passed over for promotion is always a fun thing to play. Okay, great. All right, so that's a three. So passed over for promotions. We'll decide later today. who yeah. got passed over. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So or if both of you did or what. We're kind of making it up as we go. So. Yeah, like we could, the person who got the promotion can be someone not at this table. Right. That could be, a, could be an a, NPC. a third character that the two of us despise. And that's worth mentioning too, like we we can jump in and play other characters too in okay. other people's scenes. You know, right. so like if, if Bossman's character needs to have a scene with like, you know, the investors gorilla tamer or, yeah, or the investors from, from Cincinnati, like. That can happen. Okay. All right, so I'm actually going to think strategy here. I'm looking at the keepers, and honestly, they don't have a huge difference between how we would play them. Yeah. And so I kind of want to burn a five here on the keepers just so we have more other options when we're doing the next level. Wolf Den and Australian Excursion? Yep. We're doing Wolf Den and mm. Australian Excursion. <laughs> I hope that one of you constantly pretends to be Australian, but everyone knows that they aren't. Mm -hmm. You just described Kyle Bossman. Yeah. <laughs> <I'm> like, <laughs> that's like, that's Kyle. It's like, Chaz, we know you're not from Australia, man. You're from Brooklyn. And so now Amanda chooses the relationship that Ian and Jones will have. Yeah, the romantic relationship. Oh, my. Well, we have a few fives left. A couple. Yeah, but we don't have to be beholden. What are, what are the options for romance? <laughs> Um, I'm gonna do just a simple flirtation, right? It's a three. Oh, okay. Ooh. <laughs> just a simple flirtation, right? <laughs> right. <laughs> no. We'll see where that goes. Oh, what was it called? Ex Australian excursion. What? Excursion keeper. Uh, wolf den keeper and Australian excursion keeper. Keeper. Okay. I think there's a Santa Gold song called Keepers. So now I hand this back That's over something. to you. Yeah, this, so now... This part of the game involves a book. Hi. I have just a simple flirtation with this dog right oh. now. Oh, my God. You have to write, right, question mark? Yeah, oh, just, uh, oh, yeah, just a simple sense? flirtation. <laughs> right. right. Oh, yeah. That's how it starts. Sophie. Oh, my yeah, that's the best one for sure. Okay. Brandon, keep holding uh, her. Oh, sorry. So, yeah, you have to do... Our two two of our two of us need needs. One of us needs a location, and one of us needs an object. Okay. Bye, Sophie. Uh, so yeah, this part's a little harder. Oh my god. <laughs> She's licking her lips too. <laughs> she loves this game. Good pick. Um. All right, so we've got ones, three, one. We've got three ones, a three, a four, and three fives. It seems like the needs the, are always the same. I'm, I'm finally getting the last one. Yeah, most of the time. The last one is wild. Is one to get away? To get in, to get out, to get away, to get respect, to get even, to get control. To get because down. Because sometimes I, there's to get laid. Get down. Oh, you're right. Get down. 
Get down, get, get down. down. To get uh, respect seems boring. Always. Is it? Always. I mean, it's my it's one of my favorite things to play. Oh. In my life. <laughs> <laughs> to get respect from D.E. Hitchcock the fourth, even though he's dead. Mm-hmm. Um, to get even sounds pretty great. Although that seems we've done that before. To get down. To get control. Yeah, it's a good moment to play to what, too. What are my numbers? Okay, one. We've got one, get three, four, play. and five. Okay. Um. I want to get away. <laughs> get away every time. <laughs> I'm saying this can be for anybody, any need. I was taking my sweet ass time with this, sorry. Um, At least read right. it out loud, Jones. Yeah, yeah. to get in, okay. Share, so I, share so with So I kind of group. like to get out. Yeah. That's, that's automatically to, to get, get out. out. is Because um, we're obviously starting in the zoo, I believe. Um, uh, to get out of the country with your prize. Whoa. Um, which would make sense for you guys. Uh, to get out from under the zoo's considerable debts. Um, which I don't think uh, any, any of us are of us higher up really on the ladder for that. To get out with your pride intact, which is kind of boring. Um, and to get out before anyone else gets wise. Um, <laughs> my, so problem think... with these, my problem with these is that all of those are kind of implied in our relationship. Right. Like, we're going to be doing that anyway. That's redundant. Yeah. Right. So like, yeah. we don't need that need. Ugh. So to get even, um, to get even with the board for what they did. So that's that's, kinda, stuff. that's kinda, good stuff. Kind of fits stuff. with Amanda and myself because yeah. we're pissed oh. that we got we got passed over sure. for the promotion. So we're both see teaming. that's again so that's we're teaming built up in, to get though. even with them. It's like the zoo's going down anyway. So let's let's uh, let's make sure they hurt. It could be. Um, uh, and then to get I'm just even, gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna say right now to I'm gonna try to win. I'm assuming you would rather pick, <laughs> to, I'm assuming you would rather pick that than to get even with an animal, whether it understands or not. <laughs> Whoa, really? I kind of like that one. That's great. What? Wait, give that no, to us. No, I think us. that's really yeah. funny. Can you do that? <laughs> well, to get I, even with an animal, whether it understands or not. I feel like yeah. I'm the wolf den keeper, so I feel like that makes sense for me. Yeah. Okay. Like in a weird way. Or we're trying to. You're gonna get even with a wolf, even? or <laughs> like. Do we have the dice for it? Yeah, what number um, is it? Yeah, that's a three. That's a three. I kind of think it's a snake that seems smarter. Like, that that's a smart snake. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> one of us is like obsessed. Wait, it's, it's wait, like, wait, it's wait like a minute. Wait a minute. It's like the ongoing comedy where, like. I kid you not, number five to get even with those monsters who let poor buttons die. Well, Whoa. I guess that's what you should do. <laughs> poor buttons. <laughs> buttons. Where is he? Poor He's on, on the shelf where he belongs. <laughs> well, I uh, guess we have to do that one. Uh, do we? But do we? To get even no. with the board for what they did. Die. I really like that. I think that fits in well. To get we'll even just, just do to get even. We'll take the rest. To yeah. get oh, even. to get yeah. even. Okay. Yeah, yeah. And then um, we'll do one of the good ones. All right. So huh. so who are you giving that to? For, for Troop and myself. So okay. take one of those dives. Get even. So that's five. To get even. Mm-hmm. To get even is all you have to write right now. Okay. So then uh, we need one more need. And you've already got one, so I should probably give it to you and me. Okay. Uh, uh, what do we have left? The same ones. To get in, to get eat away, to get respect, to get even, to get... Yeah, those are the ones. <laughs> we could also do to get even. Everyone's just trying to get even. Because to get even has the best stuff, right? Yeah, it has the best stuff. Like respect, like whatever, boring. To get out, huh. you just leave. Huh. Uh, to or get you? to get in, we didn't read this. With the crew of the coolest exhibit in the zoo, to the rainforest adventure after hours, <laughs> on the trip that's being planned, with the looker on the rival exhibit staff. Uh, oh, the looker. The looker. Uh, the looker. Oh, she's a looker. The tall glass of water. Before it's too late to save the zoo, to get the nocturnal house. Oh, to the nocturnal house before anyone finds what's in there. Uh-huh. Um, that have, one. That one. We'd have to save a, a random for the end for that one, but yeah, we could do that. Uh, that's a well, you're smugglers. We're so smugglers. Whatever you're smuggling is inside what's the reptile in the house. What's in the nocturnal house? Or the nocturnal house. It's that uppity snake. It's not nocturnal just koalas. House. Um, uppity yeah, snake. I don't know. That's so funny nocturnal to me. Nocturnal <laughs> house. Knock I mean, I feel like getting pass. even is is the most like Cohen Brothers esque. All right, let's double down to get even. Unprecedented. Unprecedented. Let's All do right. it. Double need. Double need. When the need is great, yeah, it doubles. So now I'm looking at locations or objects. I'm gonna choose locations. Uh, our object, our uh, our oh. options are habitats, grounds, around town, the wild, at home, behind the scenes. Though truly, our options are habitats 
around town, the wild, and at home. Yeah. Um, I don't like at home. We're not going to deal with that. We like yeah, the zoo. Yeah, it's so boring. Um, the wild is so cool. Uh, Australian outback. The wild. You start in the wild. Yeah. Like yeah. Arachnophobia. And then bring the stuff. <laughs> start in the jungles. Is that the the actual wild, or is that like a section the of wild. the zoo? Deep in the Congo. Oh yeah, it's actually the wild. Okay, so uh, habitats are kind of things that we'll do anyway. I very much assume, but I want to read these off. Just like so the know, sci-fi yeah, yeah. one. Reptile house. Australian excursion exhibit, ocean world, penguin habitat, bat cave, and grizzly habitat. <laughs> Those are things that exist within our world. You know They're what I want? A bat cave. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, a bat cave. So I'm going to pick around town for the... the who? I thought that was the one you said you didn't want to do. No, he said no, at home. home. Yep, yep, yep. But it's also out of the zoo. Well, I don't know. Around town has some really interesting stuff here. Okay, right. It helps to have something it's got outside to... of the zoo. It does. It just helps. Because check these out. City, for, for storytelling. Yeah, yeah, yeah. City Comptroller's <laughs> Office. Train tunnel that runs behind the zoo. Like, you've so never good. played this before. <laughs> no. I mean, just in storytelling context. No, yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Rat Trap Motel in the Red Bun Court. Like, there's some good stuff around town. That's funny. Yeah, yeah. All so right, I'm going to pick it. around town, but there's I just don't know who to pick it for. Lot. Romance. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Around town romance. We got to get out. Okay. Oh, and actually, hand this to to Amanda. So now you have to pick an object for us. Great. Was that? Here we go. Yeah. Objet. 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 My choices are animals, administrative. What number was that? Three. Administrative objects. Uh, More animals. Secret. Lost and found. Still more animals. Whoop whoop. There's two. What? One and six are both animals. No, there's one, three, and six are all animals. Okay. So we've only got ones, fours, and fives right now. Oh, no. Oh, my gosh. So out of those... So that's animals and then whatever four and five are. Uh, so I can do animals, secrets, or lost and found. Now, I have a question about the game. So the main categories are die categories, and then the inside categories are what you roll for later? No, uh, we choose. we use other dice to do those as well. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So this is just... The, the dice limit us in... And, like, so we just can't pick randomly whatever we want. It's part of the, like, sure. RNG of the game, kind of. Um, because in, in Category 6, for Still More Animals, there's a fish worth $120,000, which is delightful. <laughs> so I'm just saying that out We loud. can't pick it. Maybe next time. Oh. Um, so we, we, have, we have ones. Ones, fours, and, fours. and a five. What do we got under Secret. One animal passed off as another, mm. forged <laughs> credentials, drunken voicemail message, endangered animal, not where it should be. Oh. Video of an expedition that didn't go as planned. <laughs> and a ruined uniform. I mean, that's pretty good. Let's do that. Let's do a secret. Okay. Can you read off the animals, though? I'm yeah, curious uh, what we got. This is underfed lion? Yeah. male lion. Great. Peacock. Poisoned. Whoa. Whoa. Star dolphin of the show. Mm-hmm. I don't think we're doing marine. We're, we're not doing marine. Oh, okay, sure. no. We're it could doing, be there, but like there was, we don't have There was to. an early call by Ian Hank about we're not doing marine animals, and I picked that up. And Did I, I say like, that? It was before we started filming. He said, no marine animals. They weird me out. <laughs> I don't remember saying that, but sometimes I black out and say things about marine and animals was, that I don't There was remember. something on camera where... No, what? What did he do? He was like, he was like blah, 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 whales and zoo animals, blah, blah, blah. I don't know. Dolphins, no. Oh, it's probably just because we didn't have because we didn't have the number because we didn't have a two. I said, yeah, I said, I said dolphins, whatever, but we can't do that because we didn't have a two. Uh, I have nothing we do against anything. aquatic we won't mammals. Do that. Yeah. Um, okay. Meatloaf. Um, star dolphin of the show, gorilla who knows sign language, mm. one pissed off ostrich, <laughs> and quotations. It's a crocodile, not an alligator, which is only funny if you know why. Why? Why? Um, because people keep mixing them up. Oh yeah, I just didn't. I thought maybe. Uh, do you, you know knew how to tell them the apart? Difference. How do you tell snout. a snout? Exactly. And what is the difference in their snouts? Alligators got big old wide snouts. Mm. Crocodiles got thin snouts. Yeah, and they're longer. <laughs> and they're longer. Uh, but they're the you same. You can tell animal. they're both zookeepers. They're not the same, <laughs> same animal. animal. They're not the same animal. They're a similar. But species. they might as well be. Uh, I kind of. I mean, I kind of want an animal for, uh, oh, I guess the smugglers. Oh, we need to get even. Okay. Get even. So it's you and I who are picking an object as keepers. Oh, you and I are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, so this, the object, object has to be, the, the thing with these is the object has to be 
equally important to both parties. Okay, in, in but so wait, so we have we have one, one, a four, four, and five. So we could have a one, we could have a four, or we could have a five. And What's I, your lost I kind and found? Of, okay, uh, I like the secret thing though. Um, for between us, yeah. wallet with fake ID, mm-hmm. large wax sculpture of leaping dolphin, animal toy, not where it should be. <laughs> Camera full of incriminating photos, keys on a broken chain, an empty cage. Yeah, those are kind of sucky. Um, yeah. What's but, the secret? but wait, wait. Oh. I, okay, so secrets. Forage credentials, drunken voicemail message, endangered mm-hmm. animal, not where it should be. One animal passed off as another. Very funny. Yeah. Very funny. Video of an expedition that didn't go as planned. My personal favorite and ruined uniform. Okay, so we'll do so secret. secret. Okay, yeah, yeah, that's yeah. a four? Yeah. Oh, uh, no, I think it's a... It's a four. Four. Yep, yep, yep. Okay, okay, cool. We only have ones and fives left. Okay, so Jonesy gets to fill in the subcategory okay. for... What is this? Around town. Location. Location. You gotta write location or I get uh. confused. Um, so, Jones, you can figure out the subcategory for the around town location, our get, to get even need, your to get even need with Amanda, mm-hmm. or their secret object. And just remember that if something's really hot fire... The last die is a wild number. So if there's one that we're like in love with, we can save it for the last one. And then Amanda can pick any number. So I'm going to be boring here. Um, so I think you guys are both smugglers. Uh-huh. Yeah. Uh, which I think differentiates you from Amanda's character. Amanda and I clearly are employed by the zoo. I don't know who I am yet. I don't know what job I have. I don't know if I'm a zookeeper or if I'm on like, uh, if I'm higher one of authority. status yeah. than Amanda. Mm-hmm. Um, but we have a one in the five. One for under get even is get even with the board for what they did. I think there's okay. lots of. I, I think I think Amanda is the 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 better of the two of you. That's between just Kyle and Amanda. how I come across. Uh, well, just because he's been specifically labeled. <laughs> so right, as you're right. In to life. get even with the board for what they did. For so what they did. So this is my this is my what. This That's is your need. The, this yeah to get even your need is further with, defined by with the board the Borg. for what they did. Okay. Yeah, the Borg. No, with the Borg. Sweet, with the Borg. That would for be what they did. Resistance is futile. Don't even try it. Um, okay. So then the other one remaining is a five with those monsters who let poor buttons die. <laughs> 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 I also love with an animal whether it understands or not. Yeah. I, but, I really like that. I don't know why it's so all right, let's funny. Save so it. we'd have to save a save three it. for that. But mm-hmm. then that means that uh, the location has to be either the city comptroller's office or Rat love. Trap Motel in Road Bud, Rose, Red mm-hmm. Bud Court, which makes sense for an illicit romance. Right. But they're just flirting. Maybe a little bit. It's just a flirtation. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah, we yeah, would yeah. have to get to that hotel. Well, yeah, yeah, right. yeah. We'd eventually. Oh, my God. Um, and then, uh, just real quick, the number one and five for secret are forged credentials or video of an expedition that didn't go as Amanda's planned. favorite. We have to. Okay, we have to. so we'll do, we'll okay. do the video... Because that was Amanda's favorite. It's yeah. so funny. <laughs> Video of an expedition <laughs> that didn't go as planned. <laughs> uh, it's so funny. <laughs> it's so funny already. Okay, and then that means just by the process of elimination, if we're saving the need for random, that means that our location is the city comptroller's office. Okay. Okay. What's the city comptroller? <laughs> What's the city he, comptroller? He controls things. Yeah, I, I, so I actually am not totally um, sure. So I, I know of a comptroller, but I'm gonna, I don't know I'm gonna look up the definition. I, yeah. I, I believe it is a person who regulates stuff. Yeah, yeah like the areas, but, because um, I think yeah. this is the person Zoning. De- determining if that that uh, multiplex will get that part of the zoo's property or not. Right. Oh yeah, I think that's what a comptroller is. Okay, so then that means we can do a random for. I kind of did yours for you. A comptroller is a person in the business who oversees accounting and the implementation and monitoring of internal controls independently from the chief financial officer. Whoa! So not as cool as the uh, CFI, but I know less than what I thought I did before hearing that. What does it mean? Okay, so wait. Uh, to get even with an animal, whether it understands or not. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Steal one animal, yeah. spite the other. Yeah. <laughs> that's, a, that's a tall order for both of you. With an animal, what is it? What do I do? <laughs> you know, Buttons. You know. 
<laughs> I'm so glad we didn't pick buttons because I'm sure he wouldn't it's be too dead. Obvious. And then like Jones would have to start doing buttons. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. And then we'd have just talking alley cat. And yeah. he would be the winner. He'd be like, the he, he'd, he'd, he'd be like a turtle know. or something. Yeah. I was a mastermind behind <laughs> all of this. Just be clear, there's no winner. Yeah. There's no winner. There we all win if we tell a good story. Until today. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Amanda's gonna save this park. <laughs> God damn it. The park shall be saved. Okay, so now I take away all these dice. What? He takes, he takes them away. Oh man. So now they are no longer numbers, but they are just simple black and white dice. Oh. For now they signify successes and failures for our characters. But also, we don't know our characters, so let's figure yeah. that out. Oh, boy. All right, so let's run down what we actually know. Jonesy and uh, I... Oh, yeah, we're we're all hot-bothered. Uh, but it's so, just a simple flirtation. It's a, well, for now. Right? Right? Yeah. Right. Uh, right. But we don't know if we've met yet. If we, uh, if we meet in the oh, story, yeah. you know, hey. Oh, I show or, up while I'm casing the joint. Right. <laughs> um, and at some point, we got to get our asses to the city comptroller's office. Do you know what that implies to me, Jones? Because Ian is also a smuggler. I'm the city comptroller. No. Well, that's <laughs> really good. Dun, to, dun, dun. to me, you're one of the people who really believes in the zoo and really yeah. trying to work to yeah. make it work. Oh, uh, yeah, to create tension. Um, yeah. Well, I'm trying to make it work, but at the same time, I want to get even with the board. The so board? I, 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 oh, getting yeah. Getting even with the board by making it work. I think I think based on our choices, this park is doomed. I, I th- oh, so I, maybe you're trying to sell off part of the park at the I, comptroller's office. I think getting even with the board doesn't imply that you're trying to overthrow. The, like, right. Like to me, the board might has made bad choices, so you could be trying to over like get even with them by fixing the park. Ooh, that's or pretty cool. Or it could cool. be. I mean, yeah. Maybe, yeah. What, what, when what, in doubt, go petty too. Like it could be like super. Because I mean, remember, it's like Coen Brothers esque. So like, your big getting even with the board could could boil down to just like. You know, pranking their car or something. Like no. it doesn't have to be huge. What, why do you say no? What do you got? Oh, it's got to be huge. I mean, it, it can be. Well, I'm just, I'm wondering. Yeah, I'm wondering if I'm some kind of like financial investor that in the past got burnt, like wanted to get involved with the park, but was was uh, wasn't allowed. And so now that the board's like given up on it, and you know they passed you, you know they passed us both over for oh they passed me over for promotion. Yes, didn't they? you work here. Oh, like, do yeah, you have to you work do there. Have to, I was gonna say maybe you're the city. I, I really like the idea. Though. I have an idea for my character. I, I love the idea of Jones. <laughs> 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 yes, Amanda. The case the table. <laughs> uh, if you have any ideas for my character, let me know. Yeah, yeah. T- tell Jones. I'm writing them down. I'm writing no, no, down can, right now. If you've got an idea, let's start Give with your ideas. Um. So. Uh. Uh, I, I want to play a character named uh, Abigail Tompkins, mm. and mm. she is uh, an animal, um, like an like she believes that animals have as much um, ability to like integrate into society as humans, <laughs> and I feel like. <laughs> I think she uh, should be the wolf den keeper. Th- I do think I'm okay, the wolf den keeper. Okay. Wolves are yeah, yeah, people too. And so I I had some really good ideas for where I wanted the zoo to go as far as um, helping people like become more um, like e- like basically like creating equal relationships between <laughs> humans and animals. Mm-hmm. Um, and but I got passed over, so I'm not able to have my goal. What was, the, what was the job though specifically you got passed over for? Um, I think I was gonna uh, be like in charge of new exhibits. So okay. uh. so I was going to like be like, um, you know, come bring your children in to have a one on one with with a wolf. Like sleep with wolves. It's great. Like not like sleep with wolves. No, we get it. Yeah. But you know, like yeah, they want to like, fuck some yeah. wolves. <laughs> <laughs> Again, adult situation. Well, what if, yeah, but well, what if? Like an overnight you, at the zoo, but like really yeah. with the animals. So what if I'm what if I'm <laughs> like a financial officer at the zoo? I'm like the zoo's accountant, basically. Like I'm I'm, right. I'm in charge with how much money the zoo actually has. And okay. you were pa- and well, you were passed over for. Well, what if, what if like you being a, in part of new exhibits? There's like there's like a whole last ditch effort to like re- revitalize this zoo, and I was going to be in charge. I had all the money laid out. We have the money to do it, and the board was like, no. And so I'm like, what? so I got passed up. Uh, like not necessarily a promotion, but like the thing I had planned got shut down, and you lost your job, yeah. or, or you lost this job. Maybe you were going maybe to get at one it. point you had a really meaningful experience with an animal, so you're like a convert to my way of thinking. <laughs> <laughs> 
I'll let you think that for now. We can explore that if later. If you want to start for sure. this fiasco with that in mind, I'm not going to stop you. Okay, I like that. Uh, so you had your name. You could write in that. Truth, what did I, I say? Abigail Tompkins? Yeah, Abigail so Tompkins. write it on the on our side and the other side mm-hmm. so that we and the camera can see it. Okay, and then you're... I mean, it could have come with a position bump, too. Like, senior financial officer. Oh, yeah, I would, officer. Have, I would have been in control of, right, of all right. of... Yeah, this, and now this, you're, this, like, this the junior financial division, yeah. officer. Possibly I would have been on the board. Like, that was right, one, right, one right, of my right. One of my things I was eyeing was a board position. Okay, so then I have a romance where I'm right. flirting with the financial officer of this zoo while yeah, also yeah. trying to smuggle... Abigail. Animals. We're, we'll go huh? with it. I think it's A-I-L, is it not? I don't I know how to spell, spell Abigail. You can spell it in any way. Oh, like yeah. the wind? That's fine. You can yeah. spell it like yeah. a wind? Yeah. Oh, okay, cool. Uh, Abigail Force Wind. Abigail Force. <laughs> That's what they call her when you get her passionate about animals. The gale. Ha! <laughs> Whatever. All um, right. So, yeah, I don't know. I'm an animal smuggler who's flirting with a financial guy. Mm-hmm. Legitimately or strategically? Ooh. Who's to say... Um, it's just a flirtation, right? right? <laughs> I keep sending him nudes, and he doesn't want me to. <laughs> he's like, he's like, remember this? I want to send you this picture of me this one time that I had a meaningful experience. <laughs> with, this experience with this animal. <laughs> are, it really changed my life. Are nudes a simple flirtation? Are we at that level? I, d- I guess it just flirtation. depends. The world, on... the world has changed. I would say <laughs> <laughs> a selfie with a little cleavage is a oh, simple okay. flirtation. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, Man oh. cleave. I oh. would say like a guy like sitting in front of the TV with his feet in the shot, like saying, "I'm just hanging out watching TV right now." That is a simple flirtation. <laughs> Hey. You poor baby. <laughs> <laughs> How's it That's going? That would be. Yeah, just How's like, it going? All right, so wait, you're just chilling. So you're the Australian <laughs> excursion keeper. Australian excursion. Get ready for that accent the whole, <laughs> the whole time. Two hours. <laughs> and everyone's going to keep calling you on it. Uh, and you have some kind of a video of an expedition that didn't go as planned. Yeah, I do. And then we need to get, you and I need to, are also animal smugglers. And we need to get even with an animal, whether it understands or not. So I really like a snake, but we should decide yeah. about that animal. I, I like I like a snake that, that we think knows too much. Yeah, okay. Or maybe it <laughs> swallowed the video, but no, that would... Because oh, that's your guys' object. It's our mm-hmm. object, yeah. Um, our object. Or, or oh, the, ob- the video undermines your beliefs. Oh, it does. Beliefs. That's exactly where I was going yeah. with oh, that. Oh, exactly. Oh, my God. So yeah. you were like... We we had a wolf sleepover and something went and, bad. And like, it went wrong. A kid got it. It went wrong. Yeah. We Let's must hide this video. That's great. Let's say it was a big pig. A big pig? Yeah. <laughs> so we had a big old pig. What, like a javelina? <laughs> yeah. yeah. So like we had like, we're going to have a sleepover with wolves and pigs. We're going to show it can work. Oh, not a human. And No, no, no. Not a human. And so that pig got eight. Et. Yeah. Sure. All right. Sure, I mean, lower the stakes. That's fine. Yeah, that, I mean, I, I want it to be I, like I, a homeless I've, man. I've, I, per, yeah, personally, Ooh, okay. personally, I want it to be an, someone I no one it, would miss. No, I want it to be an intern. Oh my god! Yeah, <laughs> Billy. Yeah, yeah, we exactly. We were testing it out. <laughs> okay, I see an intern. Billy, I see it. Billy from um, Grand Rapids, and <laughs> he's seventeen. Really excited to be here. Was We're like 17. Billy. Yeah. Yeah. Did he die or does he just not have any limbs anymore? Or He's something? vanished into the wolf population. Okay. Um, as far as we know, he got et because of the scat recovered. Yes. After the incident. Hang in on, which... say no more. We know where this is headed and it's gonna be fantastic. Um... I got some things to cover up, you guys. <laughs> Alright, so you guys are covered on that. Uh, I'm trying to smuggle out an animal. Are we trying to smuggle out the very same snake? Or are we doing it to get even with this? Okay. Oh, we want the snake's lover. Yeah, I was just going to say that. We were taking the snake's lover (laughs) to get even with the snake. (laughs) (laughs) But why? I don't know. I don't know. We'll figure that out. We'll figure that out. Okay. So we're trying to steal the snake's lover. (laughs) <laughs> Just to piss off the the snake is worthless. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Enjoyed the breeding program. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Yes, I love it. Okay. okay. Um. Anybody have names yet? Any I can't names? think of one. 
Oh, Jones has a name. I, I love this name. name. Oh. oh, it's Brandon's name. My oh. name is Parker Cobb. That's such a good name, dude. <laughs> your, your names are always so like percussive and masculine. It's great. Percussive and masculine. Yep. That's the Jones way. <laughs> Brandon Jones, percussive. Again, we're masculine. never going to have another married couple <laughs> on the show. Just kidding. Um, all right. You got a name? <laughs> Cupcake? Yeah, I do. All right, shoot. That means I got Is it an Australian one. name? It's not. I'm not going to do an oh, Australian accent. No. Oh. You got to do an Australian Jack, accent. You got to be Jack Human. Come on. <laughs> Jack, <I'm> Jack Human? <laughs> Jack Human? <laughs> Human? Jack no. Human? Why? Is Hugh Jackman. Oh. oh. I was not wow. on board. I did not understand. Because you made human. You, you yeah. realize you made human. Yeah. Oh, okay. It's you G H M. He flipped it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jack Human? <laughs> did you just think of that, Brandon? I just thought of that. No, you didn't. You took it from something. No, I didn't take that from something. Did you just think of it? I just thought of that, yeah. Oh, okay, cool. Jones is really good at this. You're not giving enough credit. Wow. Oh. What? Yeah. I know it. I know someone by that name. Whoa. Yeah. What? <laughs> People have names. Dun dun dum. <laughs> yeah, oh I definitely goodness. spelled that oh, 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 no. in a new way. Ian's dropping lore here. Oh no. Ian's complicating things. Uh oh, yeah, what's, I am. what's Oh I love this. My name is Thomasina Tompkins. I am uh, Abigail Tompkins' sister. Nice. Dun, 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 dun. Dun. <laughs> Thomasina Tompkins. And I'm pissed about it. The uh, name. Ogby Joanny. <laughs> what is it? Ogby Joanny. Ogby? Ogby. Ogby. Joanny. Joanny? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Where did you come up with Ogby. these? But you don't work at the zoo. Correct. Yeah. Thomasina, how could you? <laughs> Cause I'm pissed at a snake. <laughs> I'll be Joanne. Oh, I got an idea. <laughs> oh, Joanne. I got an idea. Okay. <laughs> All right. So, uh, that's the setup. We'll be right back with the zoo. One begins now. Do, 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 do. Sweet. <laughs> At the sound of the of the bell chime, <laughs> we will be in the city comptroller's office. The melodious oh. bell chime. Uh, wait, can't, wait, I have a question. Sorry. Oh, jeez. Yeah. Can we be far. anywhere? I thought we could only be in the locations earlier specified. No. If, the, if you anywhere. have a location, okay. I am the only person that has a location, right? Uh, we're, you're the only person. We're our relationship is the only one that has a location meaningful to us. Right. Okay. So at some point in the entire thing, I gotta get us there. So yeah, we I'm start. Gonna, I'm gonna there. start us there. Yeah. Ooh, okay. 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 All right. Um, Great. Mm. Thomasina is at the at the front desk, playing with her hair, doing her nails, whatever. Uh, I'm on the phone. You're on the phone. Okay. Yeah. Um, I have I have a stack of papers, uh, and I have been waiting for a good long while to to see the city comptroller. Okay. No, I think it's like zoning. Zoning. Financial zoning. I like controller. I don't know. I kind of, I kind of wave at you like, with the watch. <laughs> I gotta go. I gotta go. No, we'll call back later. <sighs> the mayor is such a pain. <laughs> Hi, Parker. Hi, Thomasina. How are you? Whoa. <laughs> I'm, I'm okay. I'm pretty stressed actually. I just, I. What's wrong? We just, you're. Uh, I don't know what is it is. Is that like a new thing that you're wearing today, or like? Oh what my is... god! Uh, oh, yeah, the, what, 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 this fragrance. <laughs> oh, that's. Uh, I kind of like that. <laughs> I haven't really noticed you you wearing something. Oh, before. I I got it last night. Oh. It came in the mail. Oh. It's Kenzo. It's that dance. Just commercial. a sample. Is this? Is this? It's a sample. Is this all I'm getting? I couldn't this? afford it. I couldn't gonna... afford it. Oh. Okay. Well. I got a sample. She sent it. Well, me. I tell you what, Thomasina, you get me in that room. You get me a meeting. You get me in front of the controller. And if uh, he's, and if this uh, if this passes, he's eating his hoagie right now. Oh man, that's the that's what he said yesterday. He loves hoagies. I don't. I could go ask him. Hang the on. door's closed. You could be doing anything in there if you would please. He's come eating a hoagie. It. He gets really sweaty. Okay. Oh, oh. hang on. I, oh, all right. I'll go ask him. Controller. Controller. Yes, I'm here. 
Are you done with your hoagie? No, it's a very large one with multiple layers of cheese. <laughs> Parker Cobb from the zoo is here. Oh, that guy. I like him. You don't oh. like him? Oh. Oh. He always has some harebrained scheme that he wants to get filed and passed. and He interrupts my hoagie hour. He, he does have a large stack of files ah! with him here right now. Ah! All right, send them in. Ooh. Parker, then, go in. Send in some napkins. Can you take these napkins then? Uh, uh, yeah, sure. <laughs> yeah, probably you need some more. Uh, uh, yeah, thanks. Okay. I, uh, appreciate it. Thanks it a lot. Good to see you, Parker. I'm sure, I'm sure I'll see you again. Okay. Yeah, when you leave his office. I go in the. <laughs> I go in the comptroller's office. Uh, napkins. <laughs> uh, thank you very much. <sighs> okay, as as you know, uh, the board. Uh, unanimously decided not to go with my plans uh, to to rejuvenate and remodel, uh, bring new life uh, to our beloved park, um, and and so I've 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 drafted a new budget. I've slaved over this. I haven't slept a lot in the last couple days of of how we can allocate funds that we already have. Uh, we we got to make some we got to make some tough cuts. I just need for you to sign off on this. I don't need you to, to sign an approval or anything, but just to sign off that 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 this is sound. So that I can take it back to the board. <laughs> with Parker, your Parker, Parker. How, how come your old man and I don't golf anymore, huh? <laughs> how come I never see him out on the courses? I don't know. He spends a lot of time watching nature documentaries on Netflix. <laughs> can we get to the point, please? <sighs> uh, if, if my if my dad were here, he you know you know my dad loves the park. You know you you know my dad would uh, would would want to get this through. Uh, I tell I, I tell you this. If 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 you can help me with this. I'll, I'll get you. I'll get you back on the green with my dad, and I'll put a couple hoagies in for you. How about that? Ah, uh, Parker, you know that place is just a cesspool waiting to get burnt down. That, that, How can I approve more money into that place? That's what. That's what. That's why I'm here. I'm, I'm here because there's there's something that is has is yet to be done in that park. I, I think that there is that there is one final thing that can be done, you know, to uh, to save this park. I guess you could say. And uh, it's 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 very very important to me, sir. I'm, I'm willing to do whatever it takes. So Parker, he has success. Just so you know. Oh, he has success right now. <laughs> yeah, generally. I thought that was just getting into the room. Well, yeah. <laughs> that could have been. I mean, it could have yeah, been. absolutely. Yeah, yeah. So go for it. Go I, I was for given it. this time when I specifically asked. Yeah, yeah, I need yeah. to get in there yeah, and yeah. see him. So. Yeah. As I was saying, Parker. So let's put more power in Amanda's hands. <laughs> <laughs> Parker, Parker, Parker. Your future is not with the park. Join the government controller union. Join with us. Eat hoagies, golf. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm more of a I'm more of a beach sports person, and and I I'm not. I'm, Parker. I'm a, I'm a vegetarian. It's, the I zoo is I'm making s- you soft. <laughs> Are you get? I look. Are you, are you gonna help me or not? I mean, it, it, you know, if you can't help me, then I, yeah, I guess I, uh, I, I, I... Thomasina, yeah. give me my two o'clock hoagie and sew this zoo person <sighs> to the door. This isn't the last year in here of me. I'm gonna save this park, damn it. <laughs> Send your regards to your father. They're my regards and yours. Ah, hoagie. <laughs> um, I will, because I'll see probably see him soon. <laughs> <laughs> That was amazing. Okay, uh, so you give that to somebody else. Okay. Probably, you just put it closer into yourself. Oh, I give this, oh, so I give this, yeah. To, because to we're in Act well, 1. Yeah, we're in Act 1. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, boy. First, obviously. Yeah, amazing. Okay. okay. You were good too, but. Oh, no, no. <laughs> that was, the controller is now ma- my favorite character. Um, <laughs> you gotta get the controller back somehow. <laughs> get into the controller's union. Yeah. <laughs> the like dark side. I, I see seconds. a finale golfing with a controller. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We'll uh, okay, so Thomasina, um, it's after hours, and I'm in the st- after my hours. This is the zoo is still open. I'm at the zoo, and I'm in the snake exhibit, looking at the, the, these two snakes. <laughs> and uh, are, are they doing it? They're doing it, and um, and then Ogby probably comes in at some point. If Ogby Can't. wants to. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I know Ogby doesn't want to exist. Right? Just gotta figure out the accent. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so I'm looking at these snakes. 
they do look happy. <laughs> at least. Because they're having sex. Oh. <laughs> they're having sex, you know that. I, I guess I did know that, yeah. This is how they mate. It's terrifying. I hate this one. Look you, at her eyes. You ate it? No, I hate this one. Oh, hate it. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, are you from London or something? Close. Australia. <laughs> oh. <laughs> They're pretty close, I think. <laughs> Wait, you hate the girl one? Yeah. Why? I got reasons. <laughs> <laughs> what are they? <laughs> you look at this snake. Look at it. Look I'm, at it. I'm looking. I don't know. I just think she thinks she's so smart, don't you? She looks smart. No, I mean like human smart. Human smart? I mean like she knows more than she puts on. <laughs> like it's an act or something? Yeah, look at it. She's having six right now. She's yeah. looking at us. Why? She is. It's too intimidating. <laughs> is it? Can they see through the glass? No. That's the thing. She knows we're here? Yes. Yeah. Smells us. Wow. So snakes work. She, you know, did you know that I know that snake, the other one? The other one? Yeah. How? I, I used to own it. You used to own that snake and then you lay it right in here. No, they took it. I had to sell it. Yeah, it seems like this too. <laughs> Buy a snake from someone. They did. I Well, apparently I wasn't supposed to have it. Why? I, well, I got it when I was a kid, but then it just kept getting bigger and bigger and bigger, and then I couldn't afford it mm, to feed it. Hey, yeah. what, what are you doing in the zoo, by the way? Looking at my snake. Uh, all right. Leave. Why? Leave. Why? You shouldn't be here. Leave. Why? It's a zoo. No, it's closed. It is? Yeah. What time is it? After hours. Oh, my God. I've been looking at the snakes for three and a half hours. That's disgusting. <laughs> well, I miss my snake. You can't have it back. Why no? Look, it's plenty happy in there, aren't you? It looks you're, you're happy, happy in there, aren't you? It does look really happy. All right, go. What if... Whoa. You don't like the other snake, right? I hate that snake. <laughs> I'm not... I, I'm not saying anything, but what if we... What if we got it? Like... Like, stuck it to it. What do they say? What? I do not... <laughs> Stuck, isn't that a British phrase? St uh, stick it to them? In the down under. Oh, right, you're from Australia. Yeah. I get those confused. We say stick it in the gut with a big old knife. <laughs> well, you, not literally, though, no, right? No, no, never. Yeah, I don't want to kill it. No, no, you want to stick this one in the gut with a big old knife. Right. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's do that. You hate it, and I, I, I'm not a fan. Look at it. It's enjoying my snake quite a bit. Look. Here's my card. Your card? <laughs> Thanks. How do you pronounce that? Ogby <laughs> Joanny. Ogby Joanny. Yeah. That's a cool name. Thank you. Thanks. If well, you, what? We can't talk about this now. <laughs> okay. I know there's a lot of cameras all over. Do they have mics too? No, but they hired a lip reader. <laughs> Did Zoo hire a lip reader? <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. That's... It's because of an incident that happened a couple of months ago. What happened? Some... It was a thing. It was a thing. Some would go missing. You Australians are mysterious. Here we are. That we are. That we are. I wish that I had a die to know. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, oh, sorry. Yeah, sure. Oh, sorry. there we go. Uh, so you call that card. I'm just watching the show. Yeah, Thanks. You, you call that card. I will. We'll come up with something. Okay. I'm gonna get you, Cecilia. <laughs> His name is Cecilia? You. Cecilia, yeah. That's really weird. Why? Because I named the other one Cecil. Cecil and Cecilia. Yeah. You won't be having sex for much longer, will you? <laughs> no, you won't. <laughs> See. <laughs> You're flirting with everybody. <laughs> Look, she works at the comptroller's office, okay? It's true. She doesn't see a lot of men who aren't stuffing their face with hoagies. Can, so I gave that can to... Can I just have some dye on my end so I can chuck them at people? Oh, that's a good idea. We should yeah. split those up. Because yeah, I can't reach yeah, them, so yeah, even yeah. if I had an impulse, I couldn't mm -hmm. act on it. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. 
you and your impulses. You know. Okay. And are we allowed to clarify things middle of between scenes or not clarify? Always. Oh, yeah. So I thought Thomasina's no, snake. You. Yeah, that's your die. Oh, got it, got it. Tom, Thomasina, is your snake a girl or a boy snake? Uh, which, which was the snake? I thought you he donated. He hates the girl snake, so then so yeah. So you donated the boy snake. Yeah, Cecil. If, if they're heterosexual yeah. snakes. If they're heterosexual snakes. Yeah. yeah Cecil. Yeah. In this case, it's Cecil yeah. and Cecilia. Yeah. That's I don't know much know. about snakes, so I have no clue if it's a boy snake or a girl snake. He might, but yeah. Okay. You donated Cecil. Yeah. That's the clarification. Well, they took it, yeah. Yeah. I had to sell it to the Because dude. it was an illegal kind right. of yeah. species. <laughs> yeah. Okay. And it probably got too big. Yeah. Yeah. Couldn't handle it anymore. All right. Great. I thought it was a cute little baby snake, and then it is like 20 feet long. Yeah. They're like boa constrictors, I'm imagining. Yeah. All right. So what Og- Ogvi needs right now is a flashback <laughs> to justify his hatred for uh, Ooh. Cecilia. Ooh. So this will be his first day at the zoo. <laughs> How many years ago? <laughs> uh, 20 years ago. Oh, my Whoa. God. Oh. Cecilia Ogvi is old. Cecilia is an old snake. Oh, yeah. Ogvi is like 60. Wow. Oh, okay. That's He's like 65. I don't think I was here 20 years ago. Yeah. 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 That's good to know. Ogvi Johnny. Okay. So, um, <laughs> he, it's his first day on the job. He's walking in with a fresh red apple. <laughs> <laughs> As you do. <laughs> oh, my God. I already know where this is going. <laughs> Okay. Uh, <laughs> oh boy. I don't know if any characters were here 20 years ago. How old is everyone else? So Jones just said he's probably not here. I probably was ago. not with there. No, I was, okay. I'm. I'm like uh, 25, 28. Okay. Yeah, I'm. I think uh, I'm younger than Abigail. Oh, you know who we need? We need. So I'm like 24. Either Parker Cobb's dad, who loved the park. Oh my god. Oh no, you need D H or D H. Uh, oh yeah, D H. Uh, D E Hitchcock. D E Hitchcock. Oh my god. The fourth. God. Yeah, so we need one of those two. Okay. D E I'll be D E Hitchcock. The okay. Fourth. All right, great. Okay. Hello, name's Ogby Johnny. Glad to be here. <coughs> Happy to have you, Ogby. Welcome to my zoo, my kingdom. <laughs> you shut up! <laughs> <laughs> I hate these fucking things. I'll be honest with you. Excuse me? The animals! No, no. I hate them. Surely not, no. <laughs> Give it time. Give it time around these little bastards. They never shut up. I came to this zoo because I heard it's one of the greatest zoos in It the is! World. Well, finish your sentence where? In the world. In the whole yes, world. Yes, it is in the world. I didn't know if you were going to say North America or the world. Oh, the, the it's world. It's the best zoo in, in, certainly in North America, top three in the world. <laughs> top three in the world. <laughs> That's right. Is that a real parrot? No. No. <laughs> it's a, it's a, <laughs> well, it's a, it's an African gray. So it's a parrot, but it's not like a house parrot. It's a much more, parrot. yeah, see, it's much more valuable and smarter. Valuable. Smartest bird in the fucking world. Wow. <laughs> Only the best for D.E. Hitchcock the fourth. The E. Chuck the Fourth, the best man in the world. <laughs> well, that's right. It's a pleasure to do. I like this bird, though. <laughs> I have to tell you something. It's sort of um, a custom uh, where I come from uh, to give your boss a big old red apple. <laughs> that's weird, but whatever. Thank you. Here you go. <laughs> ah! I what was that? <laughs> I like apples. What? Wait. Oh wait. Was that the snake? That was yes, a snake. Yes. Ah, flying away. The bird also likes apples. No, no, no. I heard what that bird said. It said, I like apples. Why would it say that if no one said it? Because it likes apples? No. <laughs> that, I like the slither. That snake. Yeah. Wait. That snake said something. <laughs> Are you, section, I like apples. are you telling me that you think that my bird is repeating the words of a snake? What sort of zoo is this? I like strangling rodents and eating them. Oh. <laughs> that one is weirdly specific. I'm telling you, that snake speaks. All right. All right. Let's say, sake of argument, I mm-hmm. believe you. Yeah. Let's go down to the snake exhibit and check this out. We can look at the snakes and see if they're talking. Oh, 
I guess. I don't know. Well, it's yeah, no, oh, it's him. my it's you. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. You got get it. to go to Let's the Let's check it out. Okay. Let's say for the sake of argument, I believe you. Right. Let's check out this snake. Okay. I don't know how it got in here. <laughs> Probably through that hole. Lots of pipes. <laughs> oh, this is freaking me Was out. that the snake telling you that there were pipes? <laughs> D.E. Hitchcock, best man in the world. <laughs> well, thank you. That's true. So See, this, this bird never lies. The snake talks. Do, all right. Do, have you ever said D.E. Hitchcock, best man in the world? No, the bird just knows it. Okay. So the <laughs> and snake, then I wink at the bird. The, the snake likes <laughs> you. The snake likes you, then. Uh, yeah, must be. Okay. The snake slithers around D.E. Hitchcock's neck. What's this? <laughs> Save me, bird! Snake, leave him alone. Ah, revenge is mine! <laughs> bird! Snake. Leave him alone! Snake! Snake, leave him alone! Bird! Snake, no! No, stop sliding! No, no! Snake, leave him alone! Leave him alone! With my last words, I curse all animals! <laughs> curse all animals! <laughs> and see. <laughs> Oh no! Wow. Okay. <laughs> I'm glad that we both knew that this was also D.E. Hitchcock's death scene. <laughs> that was amazing. <laughs> the bird. Yeah, yeah. The bird gave us something. Wait, uh, is that for me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. How long did you have two lives? lights? Yeah, yeah. Why do I get? Actually, quite a long time. Why do I get a die for that? Because he liked your performance as a bird. Oh. Yes. In Act person... One, you give them away to people. Yeah. Ooh. Oh. Oh, I no, thought I was That was giving, never explained to you, but No, I thought you briefly. gave them you did. You, because he group, got success in going down to the Yeah, yeah, the he group, convinced. The group yeah. gives him the die to signify whether or not he succeeds or fails. But then in act one, oh. Bossman, not not his character, gives the die oh, to another player. I got approval. Yes. Yay. Don't be we approve of This is you. great. So now it's your scene. Okay. So you, uh, I forgot to mention this. You can choose to set up your scene or uh choose to decide to give yourself a black or white die. Pretty much no one ever does that. So if you know where you want your character to be and stuff, then that's... Um, I definitely want to get a black die at some point. Oh, well, we'll see. Um, <laughs> I'm sure a bunch of us will be getting those later. <laughs> um, so Abigail Tompkins is... Um, <laughs> she is... Um, hmm. I have too many ideas. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Abigail Thompson Tompkins is in uh the closet sized office that she shares with Ogby Joanny uh and uh and Parker Cobb. It's a three person <laughs> administrative and the accountant or the same? You, there's like a there's like a partition between our sections, but that's it's like a very cramped space and right now uh, it's it's uh 9 30 at night and uh she is obsessively watching security footage um uh in a sort of a shifty way and um uh and at some point uh parker will enter okay is ogby already there um ogby is not Okay. There. Got it. But Ogby can enter as well if he'd like to. Good. Those are the rules. Okay. Minute 30. Still, we can see Billy on camera. Minute hmm. two. Billy is gone. Alpha Wolf 5 enters. Alpha Wolf 5 exits. <laughs> Beta Wolf. Beta Wolf is not available. The beta wolves are now gathering. Minute 3.30. I open up the door. <laughs> slam it shut. Damn it. <sighs> <sighs> oh, Abigail, I'm sorry. Hi, Parker. Hi. So? Uh, I take my big stack of papers and slam them down on my desk. Did we get it? We didn't get it. We didn't get it? You, you, you can barely even talk to the man in between hoagies he's shoving in his face. <laughs> <sighs> Parker, you said that you would get it. I said I would try to get it. I didn't say I would get it. I can't, I can't make other people do things, Abigail. 
I don't see. I don't see you stressing about the finances of this place. No. What are you even doing? Watching footage of it's been recorded. What? Did something happen? No. 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 Nothing happened. Nothing happened. I. My job is as a keeper. I am the wolf den keeper. It is up to me to ensure the health and well-being. And by well-being, I mean entire well-being of okay, all the animals. Okay. Okay. All right. All right. Okay. Well, it's my job to think of the well-being of the entire park and how we're gonna get money to pay for all of this. <laughs> so if I wasn't out there getting the dough, you wouldn't have your wolves. Your wolves would go hungry because there wouldn't be any food to feed the wolves. What do, what do wolves eat anyway? What do these wolves eat? They eat meat, Parker. You wouldn't have any meat. <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> Look, I'm, so, I'm sorry, I'm yelling at you and I don't even... Uh, Parker, don't we know both know that in this situation we are powerless. Maybe not. not. Yes, we are, because we both got passed over. This whole park got passed over. <laughs> it's true. I remember the days. The days when I was five and I would come when D.E. Hitchcock still ran the place and he hated most animals, but it was a place of joy. The animals were happy. I would stand for hours with my hands pressed against the glass of the wolf enclosure and I'd commune. Remember that parrot that used to <laughs> shout obscenities at all of the guests? <laughs> <sighs> that parrot was great. That parrot was great. I miss him. He's not dead. He's not? <laughs> no, They're African greys live for a very long time. <laughs> oh. He must have been removed from the park though, because I he's, he's not around here. Parker, you don't, don't know everything about I, this park. I, I, don't, I don't have parrot food on uh, on my uh, budget list here. Parker. So. Parker. Yeah, if somebody's feeding him, it's, Parker. It's, it's not officially approved. What? You don't know everything <laughs> about this park. I'm I'm Parker. I think I know stuff about the park. Wait, what what don't I know? What are you What there, are you insinuating? What is that? There are a lot of pipes. <laughs> what? Are you are you threatening me right now? <laughs> I'm just saying there are areas that are as yet unexplored. Maybe some people in this room might have found. Okay, could could we use those to our advantage somehow? I don't know, Parker. All I know is that these animals have needs and wants that I want to make happen. They need to be unioned with people. Well, that's not going to happen unless It is. Unless. Ooh. <laughs> We do some creative accounting. Ooh. And we take matters into our own hands. I don't think we can buy this park. I don't think we can run this park. But I, I think we can I think we can possibly save these animals. Find them a safe place to be. At the very least, get back at that damn board. Yeah, that stupid, idiotic board. <laughs> For promoting... Such idiots over us. Abigail. Huh? I'm willing to help you. Hold on. What? <laughs> the wolves are restless. <laughs> There's someone at the door. Parker. Hey, let me in. Let's Hi. talk about this later, Parker. Okay, all right. Hey, let me in. Uh, shall I meet you somewhere? What's going on in there? Yes. Okay. Let me in. <laughs> meet me outside Ogby, of wait the- five seconds. It's not Ogby. It's not Ogby. <laughs> you know who it is. It's that jackass who got promoted over us. I can hear you. <laughs> let me in. George Turner, wait your turn. Uh, wait my turn, let me in. <laughs> Parker, I, 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 Parker, <laughs> Parker, yeah. meet me outside the rhinoceros exhibit at 1 a.m. Got it. Over okay, Turner, come hey, in. Hey, jackass. <laughs> <laughs> you two are too mean to me. I earned my job. Yeah, what, well, I didn't earn my job? I just, I worked really hard for this. I've been here for 15 years. What do you have to show for it, Turner? Look, I just came for the tapes. I heard that you had the security tapes in here. No. What? Why would we have those? Ha. Huh. <laughs> They're right there. <laughs> I see them. They're home videos. Oh, okay. If you insist, I'll just have to think about this when I'm doing the Christmas bonuses. Goodbye. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so
see? <laughs> <laughs> okay. So then in Act 1, you give that to somebody else. Then I give this to somebody? Mm-hmm. Just Wait, in Act like, 1. Oh, right now? Like, who yeah. did I like? Yeah. Um, I think I want to give it to, to, um, to D.E., Hitchcock for a very good death scene. Oh, no, it had to be scene, in that, that was in this scene. So you'd have to give it to Jones Wait, or Kyle. I'd give it to Jones had a stronger Jones performance. Jones had a good performance. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Nice. but thank you. Yeah, we appreciate that. I just didn't we just keep the giving rules. you yeah. dice for the, <laughs> yeah. the whole thing. That de though. That de though. Okay, so now, uh, so we each have one more scene in Act One. Okay. Oh my so goodness. So now we're up to Parker Cobb. Okay. What's Parker, Parker up to? Um. I'm gonna move things right along. Okay. It's 1 a.m. Uh oh. Nice. Oh, no, it's nice. 12 58. Okay, great. And I'm outside the rhinoceros exhibit. Um, just staring at the rhinoceros, <laughs> pacing back and forth. I'm sorry, buddy. Oh. Just, oh my god. Just can't keep you here. Just uh, if you if you knew how expensive zoos were, I mean, it just <laughs> the the you know the, the money that goes into. I mean, it's not just you know the, the staff and. And and paying, I I know I know I know I I'm I'm obsessing about this. I'm 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 pouring over the details, and, and there's no reason to. You uh, you know, you've always been a good listener, rhinoceros. I really appreciate you uh, you being here, being uh, being sympathetic. Um, at least at least the, the, just just trust me. The, the the food will be will be the last thing to go. You know, if uh, I'll, if I gotta if I gotta put you up on a tarp and uh, and cable you to a tree, um, because uh, we have to sell the bars. I will. I will still make sure that you got food. The clock clicks, ticks. Twelve fifty nine. One more minute left. Right. <laughs> I mean, I drafted everything up. I had the report right there. And I mean, you know how the comptroller can get. You know, he he, uh, he just he just doesn't listen. I mean, it's, it's one thing if if he you know, actually like read through the report that I did and then said it didn't make financial sense. Then I was and then I would know I wasn't doing my job right. Right? Am I right? But it's just like I don't even know. You know, I can't even tell at this. You know point. what? That clock was wrong. It's actually twelve fifty-five. Guess it all started when I was in high school, and uh, we didn't have enough money to, uh, to to keep our dog anymore. And uh, um, I said, "Mom, I, just, I don't need allowance anymore. Mom, it's fine. I'll I'll sell my video game console." And I'll, I'll use that money <laughs> to uh, to give Sparky uh, the, the food that Sparky needs so we can keep Sparky. Um, you know, unfortunately, my mom was gonna have to go for it. We had to put Sparky down, but still, it was it was it was it was it taught me an important lesson that day, which is you know that not only do you have to be responsible to take care of yourself, you have to be responsible to take care of others. Uh, and animals deserve to be taken care of. Damn it, you deserve a good home, rhinoceros. You're right, Parker. <laughs> what? what? Oh. Yeah. Oh. oh God. I thought that. Okay. I'm sorry. Hi. Hi. Thank you for meeting me here. Thank you for meeting me. A little, here. little early, actually. I appreciate it. Early is on time, and on time is late. Oh really? <laughs> so what? Uh, what about these pipes? And 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 please tell me the security footage has nothing to do with it. You don't need to know about that. <laughs> I guess I don't. So Parker. Let's, let's talk pipes. There is a park within the park. There are animals with more awareness than you know. In, in, in the pipes? That's how you get there. <laughs> well, who, I, I'm not. I, I mean, I'm not saying any kind of upkeep here. There's no like, you know, like. Uh, uh, pipe maintenance, you know. There, there's no ja- there's no Parker. janitorial crew that goes down in pipes. Parker, who, 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 who's going down there? Who's feeding these animals? Parker, do you ask yourself about that? I, I do. It's about, my job. About your own janitorial maintenance. I mean, yeah. I, you know, I, I have a doctor that I go to, and and uh, you know, I actually have uh, some some problems with indigestion. I mean, if you if you want to get into it, you know, I actually, what I'm uh, saying something is, I think about quite often. Yeah. We have independent animals here. The, this sounds highly irregular, uh, illegal, um, and uh, uh, financially promiscuous. They've been left to their own devices. Since the money has been draining out, more and more animals have been waking up to their own reality. Why are you telling me this now? Because it's important. If it was important, you would have told me. I, I, I don't know what I'm supposed to do with this information. I mean, 
You know, I, I, I'm, I'm here trying, trying to save this park. Uh, uh, trying to convince people that, that, that this park, uh, you know, should continue. Uh, and then they can trust in us uh, in investing in this place. Parker. And we, we have a park within a park? I, I can't justify that. Have you met Cecilia? What's the overhead on that? <laughs> Who? The, the snake? Yes. I mean, no, we've never been formally introduced, but I'm familiar <laughs> with Cecil and Cecilia. And, uh, they like apples, I hear. Cecilia's... A very smart snake. <laughs> okay. okay. That sounds like something I should be afraid of. Again, with the threats. It's not a threat, Parker. We're all animals. I'm an animal. You're an animal. They are animals. Yeah, but, th you know, th th there's a difference. I mean, they don't manage the books, do they? So do clearly. They? Oh, jeez. Don't geez. they? <laughs> Maybe. Maybe they're Does better. They, do they have a comptroller yeah. underneath the, the zoo, too? Parker, your obsession with numbers is going to get you killed. Your obsession with pipes and wolves and being weird is going to get you in trouble. <laughs> I, 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 we've been recorded on camera having this conversation. I don't feel comfortable continuing it. I'm sorry that we had to argue in front of you, rhinoceros. Parker. Oh. Parker. I walk, I walk away. Wow. You fool. <laughs> <laughs> it's just me and you, Rhino587. <laughs> Sounds like a horse. Scene. <laughs> that was great. <laughs> Sent you I, assuming there are 586 rhinos underneath the zoo. <laughs> Throughout all time. Throughout, Throughout all, all time. time. Throughout all time. It's just, it's just as the number in within the zoo, you know, like how they have a zoo exchange program. Uh, mm. I, you, I, also, I didn't think of a better name. Uh, for it. I'm giving you this. Not. It doesn't matter what color it is. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It does. It does. It's a disapproval. Yeah. Uh, well, no. In this case. To, to get a more favorable ending, you want a lot of one color, because what you do is you roll both colors and Great. subtract the lower number from the higher number. Uh, uh, that's, okay. for the, that's for the rhinoceros specifically. Mm. Oh. Nice. For the rhinoceros. Strong sense. performance. But he likes it. Oh, you like the rhinoceros performance. Okay. It doesn't matter what color good. it is. It okay, just cool. means good yeah, work. Yeah. Yeah. Good job. It's a little candy. Uh, okay, so let me think. Okay. Um, it's the next day... The next evening, it's it's 8 p.m., and the park is having its annual Christmas gala <laughs> <laughs> um, to try to raise... It's like a fundraiser for the, for the park, and almost no one has come except for all the employees. We have um, to be there. I'm there, and the comptroller is there, uh, but he's off at the, the sandwich table kind of just eating. But Abigail, Ogby, and Parker are there as well, um, and I've I I'm I want to talk to to Ogby and Parker about different things. Whoa, yeah, a double down, a double oh, and, down. And wait, did you say George Turner is there? Uh, Greg Turner. George Turner. It was George Turner. George Turner, oh, yeah. yeah. George Turner is there. All the employees. All the are employees there, are yeah. there. And how about also the person who they hired to do <laughs> lip reading? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> who who maybe knows. What happened last night? Sure. Um, we'll figure that out later. <laughs> That's right. We'll really figure that out. We'll figure that out. Okay. Um, Parker. Parker. Oh my god. <laughs> uh, uh, thank you. you. You don't know what the Santa is? He hasn't. He hasn't. Show okay. I'm. Uh, Tom Cena. Uh, yeah. There's can no I, Santa. Can I help? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Not yet. No <laughs> We're waiting. You don't have a Santa outfit. I do. In Under my, that dress or in something, my, do you? In my trunk, I do. It might... You got a Santa outfit in your trunk? We, yeah. Is it a male Santa outfit or a female Santa outfit? Well, it's, <laughs> it's a female outfit. It's probably not appropriate for a workplace, though. What's, so... What's it appropriate for? You know what it's appropriate I think I do! And I'm just kidding. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm really stressed. I'm sorry. Yeah. No, <sighs> but Parker, no, I had an idea. Okay. Last night, I had an idea. All right. You know how the comptroller likes his hoagies, right? More than anything else. But the hoagie store, uh, they always wrap them in these, like, funny papers, right? Comics. Right. And he always reads them while he's eating his hoagies. <laughs> uh -huh. So I was thinking, what if we took that big stack of papers you had and wrapped hoagies with them? Then he would read them. <laughs> it's worth a shot. <laughs> They might get full of hoagie grease, though. That's fine. That's that's what you know. I, Maybe I, make I, make copies. Print, I already have. I printed multiple copies. I I have, I have a, a personal stash just for myself at home. Um, but it could work. It could work. I don't know. Can can you wrap a hoagie in an eight by eleven? 
sheet of paper? It's like we could tape they use them the to, newspapers because they're a lot. We could tape them together. Oh, okay. Like maybe it would take like three or four. All right, I'm gonna go start taping them. Okay. Okay. Uh, hey, excuse me. Whoa. Uh, hi. Uh, I, d- d- for reference, I I like I kind of went in for like a hug. Oh. There, but you. Oh sure. It was, then, in, it was interrupted. Uh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh. yeah, Ogby distracted oh. me. Oh hi, Ogby. Uh, hi. Yeah, Ogby? I'm here. I'm here with Sam. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, excuse me. Uh, I'm the person who was hired for lip reading, um, and I couldn't help but overhear your conversation. Uh, that's <laughs> stupid. Uh, you just came up with a stupid plan. Who are you? Sam, the the lip reader who the zoo hired. Uh, oh. Yeah, yeah. No, that's that's uh, that's funny. I actually ha- uh, have your employment notice here, and um, uh, uh, eavesdropping on fellow employees. No, no, no. Again, I said I'm sorry. Stupid. I, I don't said see I'm sorry. that. Look, look, look. I don't see that in your. I don't mean uh, to pass uh, judgment on you. Lip reader. Uh, I'm not positive myself. Apparently, there's some weird stuff happening in the zoo. Uh, and look, I, I'm not mean to pass judgment on, on your uh, what you want to do. I just want to say wrapping up uh, hoagies with paperwork is just a, a stupid plan. That was a bad plan. Well, how else are you gonna get a comptroller to read them? Uh, Any way else. Good. Uh, well, no, I got an idea. Conversation. Yeah, no, it's really good, Sam. I got an idea. I got a, I got a Christmas bonus in there for you. Uh, that I'll take right out of my salary, where you can waltz right into the comptroller's office and you can figure out the situation. Look, look by I'm yourself. sorry. I shouldn't have over. I shouldn't have done that. I'm sorry. Oh, that's boy, on. That's my scene. Right you now. know. I, <laughs> no, that's that's for Brandon. But it's, it's my but it's scene. Ian's scene. I I want. I just want everything to backfire on Brandon. Double thumbs. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Screw this zoo. Screw this. I saw some really weird stuff on this camera footage. I'm out. Bye. When? When? Yeah. All th- this past two weeks, I've seen some freaky stuff. Ogby's weird. Abigail's weird. Everyone who works here is weird. He stomps away. And as, he- as he runs off, mm-hmm. uh, you see Abigail running after him. Okay. Okay. Uh, and I go, Ogby. What? Ogby. What's, what's it? Yeah. I wanted to talk to you about the snake problem. The snake problem, Ogby? That's why I gave you my card, so you could talk to me outside of the sea. <laughs> Ugly, I forgot to call you. I'm sorry. Call me later. It's not safe. You can see snake eyes in the distance. Are the snakes watching us through that grate? Yeah, they're smelling us. Can they read lips too? No. That guy said he could read lips. That's weird. No, it's not weird. It's a thing. It's a thing? Yeah. Like in 2001 Space Odyssey? Mm-hmm. Hail. Hail? <laughs> Hail. Oh, hell. Mm. Right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, yeah, like hell. <laughs> um, well, when do you want me to call you? Jeez. Anytime outside of the zoo. <laughs> I could go outside the zoo right now and call you. No, I have to be outside of the zoo, too. Well, why don't you come outside the zoo with me right now? And we can call each other. I'm waiting for Santa. I, I come there in. There is no Santa. I come in and I have like 10 of the papers. It's like a blanket. <laughs> you're stuck with the stupid plan? <laughs> and like they're it's all a brilliant plan. I can't, I can't tell. Is this too big? Do you think I should make it smaller? Can no, you still, looks... Can you still read it with the with the tape on yeah. it? It's clear tape, but I I'll wonder. Get, I'll get him a big hoagie. Okay. Yeah. Should I laminate it so it doesn't get like Back holes no, and su- stains in too it? Too suspicious. Okay. I'm wondering if maybe I should get newspaper or something that, you know, could, could hold the juices of a hoagie and then just maybe, like, write no, a print on that. he'll read the newspaper Do you think instead. the printer here will take newspaper or hoagie paper? I Probably not. I'm overthinking this. Okay, You're overthinking thanks. I appreciate this, the idea. I'm going to go take just, some more. Okay. Hey. I got too many schemes going right now, Ozzy. How are we going to get this damn snake? Just stop that one. That one's real dumb. <laughs> what do you know about it? The comptroller always reads the paper. Does he? Yes. He opens up his hoagies and then yeah. reads the paper beneath it. He's got to do something while he's eating a hoagie. All right. It all takes right. him like 40 minutes to eat. These hoagies are gigantic. Okay. He gets all sweaty. I don't mean to be mean. I just think it's a real dumb idea. <laughs> we got to try something. They're just copies. Okay. Listen. What? Don't talk to me in the zoo no more. <laughs> okay. Bye. Bye. I'm going to find me that Santa. There's you no Christmas me. gala without a Santa. You call me, and then I give you your own card. <laughs> no, this is my own card. What? This is this is my number. Oh. Do you have a pen? No. Parker. No. No. Do, do you have a pen? I got like, t- I got a table over my head. What? Sorry. Do you have a pen. <laughs> table. Over my head. Um, I I oh yeah. 
And then you see me write my number and give it to Ogby. <laughs> Which you totally, you know. There. Call me later. Oh. I will. Okay. Scene. <laughs> Did he just take the tape off, sadly? Oh. Off his hands. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Uh, Whose scene was that? that? Mine. <laughs> I'm gonna give that to Jones because that was funny. Okay, now it's Ogby's turn. Okay, two so scenes to go in Act One. So Ogby Joanny is—he's cleaning up the Australian excursion exhibit late at night um, after the whole gala thing. Um, is there a koala? There's a koala, absolutely. Okay. Um, <laughs> good. In good. fact. Uh, there's a crying koala. Oh. Okay. Okay. <laughs> oh, Timmy, there's something wrong. Oh. So he creeps over to Timmy carefully. But then he's, his foot is wrapped up and he's dragged underground. He Whoa. falls through some tubes. <laughs> oh no, what is this? What is this? You got me, didn't he? <laughs> he hits his head on a rock. He's out. Well, he wakes up getting licked by a zebra. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> I haven't seen his zebby. In six years. <laughs> Sebby! <laughs> a failure, right? Really? I gotta get out of here. He sees a cave. A green cave, because it's grown all over. Uh, however, there are somehow fluorescent lights inside of this green cave that are lighting it. And not just the Zebby, but at the end, there's a throne, and it's coiled onto the throne. <laughs> Is Cecilia. <laughs> yes. I see what's happening here. <laughs> uh, Cecilia a... says to send her regards. <laughs> he grabs his knife and seems. <laughs> oh my god, yes! I was wow. so hoping for an underground kingdom of animals. Yeah. <laughs> I was gonna I was gonna like maybe try to get there in act two at some point, but like yeah. we're there for we're 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 Well he's we seen did it. it. I think that's the end of act one. That feels well, like the no, end of you act one. Oh, you gotta, gotta, gotta go. Mm -hmm. You have All to right. give this to somebody else. Uh, uh, which one? Oh the black die. Definitely to uh Oh for me, for, for my animal animal you guys? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so Abigail's scene. Last scene of Act One. Abigail catches up with Sam the lip reader. Oh yeah, okay. Alright. He has unfortunately run towards the wolf exhibit. Oh no. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> Sam! Sam, wait! What? What? Sam! What? Hey, I just I saw you run off and I wanted to make sure you were okay. I'm not okay! I hate this place! Sam, I know, I know it's because you you know a lot about everything that's going on. That's how I feel. I hate you the worst. The things you say are freaky. I don't want a part of it. But they're true, Sam. No, no, okay? Animals can't do the things you say they can do. Sam, animals save my life. Animals save a lot of lives, okay? That doesn't mean they can think. That doesn't mean they're equal to humans. When I was 18 years old, I went on a walkabout. <laughs> Of course you did. In the tundra <laughs> of the Yukon. <laughs> the tundra of the Yukon. Okay. It was cold. I didn't have the right kind of gear. I was hungry and starving. And do you know what happens when you're cold and hungry and starving in the wild of the Yukon tundra? No. You become prey. And as I looked into the wolf pack's eyes as they were about to devour me, I knew, I knew that if I didn't become a wolf, that I would never be a human again. What? <laughs> <laughs> Sam, let me show you what I mean. The, the wolves, they get it. Once you give yourselves over and say, you and I are equal, 
And <laughs> <laughs> the wolves start circling around. No. Okay, I'm We're I'm leaving. In the enclosure? <laughs> this is nonsense. I'm going. Okay? Let me show you this. I don't want to see it. Get away. He shoves one of the wolves. <laughs> don't do that, Sam. You have to become a wolf. The more you make yourself indistinct from them, the more they'll attack. They're stupid animals. You're all a bunch of filthy, stupid animals. Don't oh, call us stupid, Sam! Don't call us stupid, Sam! Don't call us stupid, Sam! Abigail rips flesh from Sam's body and eats it. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> Sophie just oh, 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 Can I oh, wait? Oh, oh, wait, can I can, can I just add something else <laughs> to the end of the scene? Yeah. Uh, if this was if this was a film, it is. The camera pans out from the security footage showing mm -hmm. this to a ch to a desk that says Sam on it and an empty chair. Yes. <laughs> yes. No no one has witnessed this. <laughs> and the end of act 1. Uh oh and oh, wait and, and if, it, if, if if it can pan out further as it pans like <laughs> even further out and you see like the bloody chaos happening in the wolf enclosure you see Santa walking in like hello kids. <laughs> <laughs> what yes. am I miss? Hey, this is like Oh! He <laughs> sees the footage. Okay, so uh, you got a black die. I did. Ending, so give that to somebody. Um, yeah. Okay, so now. Goodbye, Sam. Uh, it's the end of that. <laughs> you start the, biting him too. That's so that's funny. That's so messed up. Can you just hand me that red book, please? Yeah. Oh, the red book. The tilt. The tilt. Okay, so what we do is everybody rolls the dice they have in front of them, not these piles. I don't have any, so I'm not gonna roll nothing. Whoa, you have zero? Yeah, that's fine. You gotta step your game up with NPCs, I guess. I that's guess. the way to win is NPCs. Apparently, <laughs> I didn't know, but um, remember when I said I would win? Yeah, mm -hmm. she's winning. You gotta work fast to play an animal before Amanda. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, okay, so now you subtract whatever lower. So you got zero. You got zero. What? Uh, so you subtract the lower number. Like if the white dice are lower? I got one. White one, one what? White, white one. one? White one, white one. And Jones is okay. white one too. No, I got uh, black three. Okay, oh. so you two, nice. you two get to choose then. So that means uh, we roll the remaining dice. Nice. Nice. Uh, we got no fours. So you have one, two, three, five, and six. Who wants to choose the top category, or in the, and who wants to choose the bottom category? I want to choose the bottom category. Okay. okay. So the tilt is a is an all-purpose like stakes enhancer mm -hmm. that can be employed in any scene in Act Two. Great. More than once, just once, never, whatever. Uh, so uh, read the top categories that you're choosing. We have here. mayhem, tragedy, innocence, guilt. We don't have guilt. Paranoia and failure. Failure. Um, Fail, yeah, failure always seems like a gift. <laughs> I think I think we will a, a, attain failure. Oh yeah. Without specifically asking for it. Yeah. Um, I mean, if I'm, if we're thinking about this, the way I'm thinking about it. I'm kind. I'm Whoa. Kind, Amanda has plans. Yeah. <laughs> I don't have plans. I just I just feel like a yeah. tragedy. Yeah, yeah. I'm kind of, I'm kind I of feeling mayhem. I just mayhem. think tragedy is fun. Uh, if I pick mayhem, that'll <laughs> take the one away. Scenario. Oh yeah, then we. Can't so under do. mayhem, we will. Uh, an out of control rampage is so great, but can't do it. Uh, we would pick a frantic chase. A dangerous animal, perhaps metaphorical, gets loose. <laughs> uh, Cold-blooded score settling, and misdirected passion. Oh, that's great. So, I so you're that choosing up mayhem. I will pick mayhem. 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 It's up to you, troop, to pick. Mayhem. mayhem what part of mayhem we will do? Your, you cannot pick one or four. Your face. So, yeah. one, two, three, or five. No, nope, just two, three. Two, three, five, two, six. Two, three, five, six. Two, three, five, six. I mean, hilariously, three is a dangerous animal. Perhaps metaphorical gets loose. Six is too amazing, I think. Misdirected passion. Because, <laughs> like, that can be, like... Anything. Yeah. And there's also a frantic chase. Or a magnificent self-destruction. Whoa, can we have that one? Four? Oh. No, we don't four. have that oh, one. Well, we got two, good. three, five, and six. Or cold-blooded score settling. Which is really good. Up, uh, to, up to you. It's up to you. I I mean, I think everything will happen except for misdirected passion yeah. on its own. So let's put misdirected passion in there. Oh misdirected passion. I think, I think everything else is bound to happen. But passion can be 
the passion we have for each other, Ian. It can be Amanda's passion for wolves. It can Maybe be... somebody starts banging an animal. Right. Misdirected. Whoa. All right. So misdirected passion will happen in Act Two, which comes up momentarily. <laughs> Two starts now. Go, Parker. Uh, okay, I am is six in the morning. Whoa! Uh, before the park opens. Okay. Uh, I am uh, by by the the sewer exit, the, the the one place I know where the, where uh, all pipes lead out of the park. Um, <laughs> and I'm on my and I got a flashlight out and I'm like looking into the pipe and I got my cell phone on. I'm just waiting, waiting. Boop. Let me get the machine. Hey, uh, Tom Cena. Um, <laughs> hey, uh, this is Parker. Uh, I, I, I left. Uh, uh, hello? Oh! <laughs> hello? Oh, Thomasina, uh, sorry, I, I, I was just gonna leave a message. I probably... What probably time should've, is should've it? I should have texted you. Uh, it's, uh, it's six o'clock. Um, I, I just wanted oh to let you know... Oh my god, Parker, you, are you when, okay? Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm fine, <laughs> just really quick. Um, um, god, you sound sexy in the morning. Uh, uh, <laughs> oh, when, when, when you get to the office, uh, I, 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 I slipped uh, some taped up documents <laughs> under the door of the office. Oh, right. So if you could, if you could do, if you could do the hoagie maneuver. Yeah. Uh, the, the hoagie operation. If you could take care of that today, that would be great. Okay. Um, and, uh, if, uh, I don't, uh, call you back in an hour, um, call the police. <laughs> Wait. Park. Parker? <laughs> And uh, I fall back asleep. And I go, and I go into the pipes. Oh no! Um, uh, <laughs> so so it's it's you know it's uh, there's just some some moss on them. You know it's definitely very moist in there. Yeah. Ew. Um, <laughs> uh, very moist. Extreme. It gets even moister as I go through. Yeah. <laughs> just the moistest <laughs> just pipes. Lots of squishiness underneath my feet. Yeah. I'm just kind of stroking the moistness. You can breathe the, the moisture. I, can breathe. I feel my lungs are moist. Mm-hmm. <laughs> um. <laughs> And Can uh, make a drop sound? Well, do I never knew how to do that. Do and uh, I go. <laughs> to, do I go down one pipe, and uh, it's uh, it leads up to a glass uh, partition of uh, the the where the the. Where are dolphins? Do we do have dolphins? Do we have dolphins? Sure. sure, we have dolphins. Uh, but it's so caked over with like algae, about, I can't. How about it's like the Amazon water exhibit? You know, like where sure. we would have like crocodiles. It's where the crocodiles are. Yeah, yeah. Crocodiles. Um, the crocodiles. And uh, but I, I can barely see through it, and obviously I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna get in there. So I'm just like, okay, that doesn't work. Uh, and I go around uh, to the other side, and uh, uh, I go I go down one hallway that dead ends into a fence, and that's looking out into uh, the the lion exhibit. Uh, and it's you know early in the morning, so the lion's just chilling, uh, sleeping. And there's one, there's one, only one more tunnel. There's only one other way I can go. Okay, so you start going down this hallway, and it gets thinner and thinner and thinner to the point where, thinner. to the point where I, I, got, I got to get prone and I got to cr- crawl through, you know, like like Bishop and aliens. I got to go through like uh-huh. just my shoulders. Yeah. Um, phone phone has no service. Yeah, yeah, phone, phone yeah, yeah. Well, phones. Service. Yeah, it's in my pocket. I can't even reach it. At this and point. it's all yeah. moist now. Uh, it's, yeah, it's, phone is moist. Yeah, very moist. What are you wearing? Um, again, we're never having like, a married wearing, couple on this show. Are you show. wearing a like a suit? Are you I'm wearing, wearing what, yeah, you wear what I usually what I usually wear to work? Great. Oh, right. so it is a jacket and tie. And, uh, yeah, I okay. think that's. I, <laughs> I think that's funny. a funny story. I took the coat and tie off before I came in. Okay. Those are still back in my office. Great. Um. Or they're hanging the, outside the pipe. I think they're hanging outside the pipe. That. Evidence. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Uh, and uh, and and I finally just barely at the end have enough room. I, I you know nudge the flashlight out with my chin and then pull myself out uh, into into a room uh, that's lit with Christmas lights. Ooh. Ooh. There's now Christmas lights that are that are hung up. I bought those for the Christmas celebration last night. In fact, all of my Christmas lights get stolen every year for the Christmas celebration. They just keep going. I'm, I'm noticing strand after strand. That's, that's a strand I bought last year. I keep going in and I keep going in. And uh, I come upon a room, a really big room, uh, that's clearly some kind of amphitheater. Whoa. Where, like, presentations are made. <laughs> uh, but there's nobody in there. It's totally empty. And I'm just like, this is crazy. I look, look around and there's... Uh, 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 you know, like pews, kind of. You know, it's like a, like stadium seating, uh-huh. and there's just 
There's scales, there's fur, there's... I, I can barely even tell the different paw prints from each other. I mean, it's just like, I can't even recognize anything that's going on. Uh, and, uh... Uh, so I make it, and then I was gonna jump in, I guess, all oh, around. Um, <laughs> uh, no, I just realized I've set this up for literally, like, nobody I, to join me here. No, I have a great idea. probably figure out what's gonna happen. I have a great idea. Okay. You hear laughter from down one of the side corridors. Ha 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 ha! Oh, Cecilia, you're hilarious! Yes. You oh. will in a minute if you don't oh, okay. now. <laughs> Funny, funny jokes. Uh, You're right. So yeah, so I'm super stealth. So I just, I just go in and, and uh, cl like climb into the pipe, but uh, you know, hide behind a little wall, like inside of the pipe. Just kind of like glance in. Philip, Philip, why are you acting so nervous? That's the bird. Ah, I just feel funny today. Are you all right? Ah, intuition. Hmm. Animal intuition. Ah. He's never been wrong before. You're the best man in the world. Thank you. Is someone out there? Then turn the flashlight off. And then drop it. <laughs> okay, well, I, I walk out. Who are you? Who hiding behind that pipe. <laughs> Who am I? Who are you? You're on park property, sir. My park property? Your property? Park prop? I, I don't think so. I, I manage the finances for this park. If anything, it's my park. I mean, technically, it's the board's park. <laughs> How's that been going for you? <sighs> Hasn't been going well, to be honest. I uh, I was at the comptroller's. I mean, what am I talking about? Who the hell are you, and how did you get down here? I'm D. Hitchcock, baby. <laughs> <sighs> the greatest man in the world. Wait, greatest the, man in the world. H Hitchcock the fifth? No, the fourth. The fu D. Hitchcock died. D. Hitchcock's been dead for years! Was I? Did I? <laughs> <laughs> I was sucked down here into a secret world filled with sentient animals. And I've lived like a king. I used to hate these creatures, but now I have grown to see that they are no different from we. What do you eat? From us? How do you sustain yourself down here? A little lizard climbs up his chest and into his mouth. <laughs> we have an understanding. <laughs> Wait, oh yeah, like a lizard, a lizard crawls around in my mouth. Do you want? No, I'm, I'm fine. I'm fine. <laughs> These lizards. I, I break, don't sorry, don't insult them. <laughs> don't insult the lizards. <laughs> Okay. Okay. <laughs> I can't. Oh, I spit it out. Like delicious. <laughs> no, I like cough it up. Like oh, <laughs> I pick it up and I eat it. <laughs> Nothing goes to waste here. <sighs> well, Cecilia I... was just telling me a hilarious joke. <laughs> Isn't that outstanding? Yes. Oh, I forgot, you probably don't speak snake, do you? A little! <laughs> it was mostly at your expense, honestly. I, you maybe not, wouldn't have liked it all that much. Well, I, I guess I deserve that, Cecilia. Uh, you always had a, a fun sense of humor about things. That's true. Oh, I, I think I left my wallet in the other pipe. Uh, here's the translation of the joke. <laughs> What's, <laughs> What's the difference? between an accountant and a snake. Snakes aren't slimy. <laughs> See? Told you it was a good I one. Get, yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's never heard a joke Peter like that Peter always before. knows how to translate <laughs> for the snakes. Um, uh, I, 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 I left my wallet in, uh, in, in the, the, the big um, auditorium room that you uh, presumably use for rituals of, of some type, or oh, that's public gathering, declaration yeah. is of your dominance over animals. Hall, yeah. A very serious manatee flops behind <laughs> manatee. A manatee? Yep. Uh, flops over, blocking the exit, and stares at him. Thank you, Steven. Um, here's the deal. Uh, w wait, what is your name? Par Parker. Uh, uh, Parker Cobb. Parker Cobb. Uh, here's the deal, Cobb. Uh, we've gone unnoticed here for quite some time. I'm in my 80s and everything's been going swimmingly since I disappeared. Everyone assumes I'm dead. The park 
is still holding on. It's fine. We but don't it, but need it's not, the park. But it's not. But that's why I'm here. The park is not holding on. The, the board is determined to shut this park down. And I'm, and I'm determined to show the, 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 the board what this park is capable of. Well, what do you if think it's capable of? You, 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 are, you are not safe down here. They know about you. I, I've spoken to at least one employee that knows things are happening underneath the surface of this park. Mm. When, when this park is shut down yeah. and, and the, the bulldozers come in through your ceiling to turn this into a movie theater or to a, shop, a mini mall, what are you going to do then? Well, do you mean the Australian? <sighs> the Australian is a whole other issue. Because we got him. We got him down here. The Ogby? He joined up. He joined up with us. I was going to offer you the same. You want to join up with us? How, do, how does one join? What do you mean? I mean... It's great. He doesn't... Eats lizards all day and yeah. doesn't... Never sees sunlight. Yeah, well, there are tubes over in the other room. Main, maintains an uncomfortable level of moistness. You get... The skin acclimates to the moisture. <laughs> I just, I just don't think you're being very realistic. I think you live in, I think you live in a, a, a sheltered environment uh, that is, that is literally going to come crashing around around your footsteps. Mm. Join or die. <laughs> wow. Uh, <laughs> I mean, you will, yeah. Uh, to put it bluntly, we can't really let you out if you know about this place unless you join up. But, but, uh, hear me out. Okay. Hear me out. All right. I think uh, we might be able to come to an agreement. Some kind of agreement. Perhaps uh, my friends uh, could help you with your little problem. Well, it's it's our problem. I mean, if if somebody else owns the park and 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 demolishes the entire thing, I, I think that would be relevant to you. And, and yeah, that's true. Yeah, yeah. Um, well, we could do this. We could do this uh, violently, spectacularly, <laughs> or we could do this. Uh, Why not subtly? Both? Why oh. not violently and spectacularly. Well, that was kind of a package deal, and then we got a subtle way is the other way. But if you want to do it violently, then let's do that. Break your rules one time, just this once, and let me go. And I promise you I will be back. How can I, can I give you my driver's license or something? It's the... Uh, Peter will go with you. He'll keep tabs on you. Uh, I thought my name was Philip. Is it Philip? <laughs> I'm a parrot. <laughs> oh yeah, Peter was the African Grey. Uh, I'm African Grey. You're both African Grey? <laughs> yeah, I'm Peter. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, Peter. Peter has the white plumage on the head. Can, can I take Peter instead? No. <laughs> no, you gotta yeah, take Philip. Take me with you. <laughs> take them both, honestly. Take them both. Oh, no. <laughs> He's gonna tell me. They look both shoulders. Oh, God, no. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> they perch on It's It's not like flapping me out of the room. Yeah. Like, wait, no, I can't. Oh. <laughs> Goodbye, yeah. Hunter. Your See. shoulder sucks. <laughs> Scene? Yeah, scene. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> wow. Uh, did you get a die for I that? I gave you a die, die too. It's oh. behind the mic. You can't have okay. two. Yeah, one oh, die per yeah, scene, yeah. otherwise oh, the game I will gave, end too oh. soon. I just wanted, I don't know how the die work. Oh, no, it's yeah. Still end of one me. scene, that's... Uh, so I just you gotta, wanted to give you a die to make it complicated. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> So you so got you a die two stupid parents. I don't think I did. He's, he's, oh, yeah. he's, he's like flying through the tunnels. Have a black die oh, I did. No, that's right. I don't want my die. All right. So that's now great. it's Tom Cena's turn. Wow. Uh, <laughs> that was quite the oh, scene. Oh man, Thomas Cena. <laughs> You got an idea? No, I have lots of ideas, but this is, it's just funny. If I were writing the movie in my head, there'd be things you'd be doing. Let's do it right now. Yeah. What, what do you got? You guys established my scene. Oh, okay. So well, Thomasina, then I'll choose how to... Thomasina okay. um, uh, wakes up about 20 minutes after the phone call. She's uh -huh. like, oh. She stretches a little bit. She puts on her aerobics outfit, and she goes into the living room, pops a VHS tape in the TV, and she does her Cindy Lopper. Cindy yeah. Lopper? Cindy, what's her name? Cindy Crawford workout tape. Yeah. Okay. Uh, this is a montage. Mm -hmm. uh, and then after she does her workout, um, she goes, she takes a shower. We get some nice silhouette shots. Yeah. Well, um, tasteful, tasteful. Tasteful silhouette shots. Um, she makes herself a, a little scrambled egg uh, for breakfast and eats half a grapefruit. Um, no coffee. Um, puts on her makeup. Spritzes on that little bit of sample perfume that she has that she got in the mail the other day. Mm -hmm. um, and so. Uh, uh, last but not least, she puts on her pink pumps, uh -huh. and she heads out the door okay. um, to work. And then she gets into work. Uh, on her way there, she stops by um, the Godfathers, which is the, the hoagie, hoagie place. place. Yeah. Oh, nice, nice. She picks up a, a really big... Nine hoagies. Greasy, yeah, selection yeah. of hoagies. 
um, gets into the office. Uh, the comptroller's not in yet. She takes a little while beautifully wrapping each hoagie and uh, <laughs> places them each on his desk in a little presentation. And each um, one has a post-it with a, with a time of day on yeah. it. Yeah. <laughs> and, then, and then it's 9 a.m. Um, she's sitting at her desk patiently with a smile on her face as the comptroller comes in. Hi, comptroller. Ah, good morning, Thomasina. How are you? Ah, a little indigestion, a little golf elbow, but nothing a hoagie can't fix. Well, there are nine in there waiting for oh. you. One per hour and two for lunch. Oh, Thomasina, you know me so well. I do. <sighs> That's true. You smell great. Thank you, it's a sample I got. <sighs> Well, have <laughs> enjoy your hoagies. <laughs> mm, hoagie number one. And then I, I go over and I shut the door. Mm-hmm. I go, oh, that man. Um, and then I go, uh, I call Abigail. Oh. oh. Uh, ring, ring, ring. Hi, Thomasina. Hi, what's up? Abigail, uh, do you... Do you have Ogby's phone number? <laughs> Ogby from the zoo. Ogby? He works with you, right? Yeah, he works with me. He's that weird, um, yeah. No, I, I know him well. Why? Why do you need to talk to him? What's going on? Oh, we're gonna get one of the snakes. We're gonna get him. Wait, I shouldn't tell you that. Um, <laughs> we're gonna just, just, uh, I, I think he's cute. Thomasina, he is way too old for you. You should learn. Look, <laughs> just because just because my last four boyfriends were above 40 doesn't mean that everyone above 40 is um, not good. Um, you can see now as the screen is split that uh, Abigail is still in the wolf enclosure and she shot from the um, <laughs> <laughs> shoulders up and it doesn't look like she's wearing any clothes. Yeah, she's and covered in blood. <laughs> you see and she's it? covered in blood. Her hair is matted, <laughs> and there are wolves pacing behind her in and the digging, background. And digging. What's that yeah. sound? Yeah. Uh, it, it's nothing. You just caught me at sort of a, a, a funny time. You didn't um, come home last night. Are you okay? I, I am home. You know how much I love the zoo. I, I'm ho- I'm home right now. Oh, I <sighs> thought maybe you had a date. Don't be mean, Thomasina. <laughs> <laughs> what? You know, you know, I'm not good with dating. Yeah, well, mm-hmm. look, we, you can't date wolves. Can't I? <laughs> can you? <laughs> Thomasina, Mr. why are you calling? Uh, I, I need to talk to Ogby to get the to get the the date. Uh, okay. Why don't you try him on a cell phone? Okay, hang on. Okay, go. 236 555 8993. 8993. 555. 555. I thought those are pretend numbers. The buzzer goes off. Oh, hang on. I got a work call. Hello? I I stay on. (laughs) Hello? Comptroller's office. It's like a finance thing. (laughs) Zoning, maybe? Uh, Hello? Ab- uh, they're gone. Abigail. Yes. I gotta go. Okay, me too. Okay, bye. Okay, um, Thomasina. Yeah? You'll always be my pack. You're weird. <laughs> okay, bye. Love you. <laughs> it's the buzzer that says comptroller. <laughs> Not the phone. Oh, oh. That explains why no one was there. Hi, comptroller. <clears throat> Can you come in here for a minute, Thomasina? Okay. Right, go in. <clears throat> Hi. <clears throat> I'm on hoagie number <clears throat> four. <These> Already? Are <clears throat> excellent this morning. <clears throat> I've been reading through these <clears throat> papers and <clears throat> <clears throat> it's a different kind of paper than what they're <clears throat> usually wrapped in. <clears throat> oh. Um, are they? I think what's printed on them is very interesting. <clears throat> Are you all right, Comptroller? The Comptroller is turning sort of a strange color of purple. Comptroller. Oh, no. But he does have a pen in his hand. <clears throat> so, are there any places to sign on those papers? <laughs> Do these papers have 
<coughs> walnut in them. <coughs> walnut pulp. Oh, <coughs> maybe. I'm allergic to walnut pulp. Oh, uh, I'll his, get the. I'll his get pen the... hand flops onto the desk right next to a line that says <laughs> "I approve." Uh, <laughs> let me get that allergy pen. <laughs> I go get an EpiPen and I I thrust it down on you, but my thumb, I've got my thumb on the end of the pen and it, I have it backwards, so the the little needle shoots up oh, through my hand <laughs> instead of into his leg. I go, ow, ow, da. <laughs> ah. With the comptroller's ah. final death rattle, muscle memory <laughs> signs out a perfect signature. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Ow. Ow. That really hurt. Comptroller? Are you okay? You signed the papers, though. Hmm. I gather all the papers, and then I get my phone, and I'm like, I should call someone. Ogby, pick up. Hello? Ogby? I'm an animal now. <laughs> Not him, too. <laughs> so then in Act 2, you keep your dice. You keep them. Yeah. Okay. Um, okay, so now it's Ogby. <laughs> Oh my god, that was incredible. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait, are we handing out dice? Who got a dice? I got a white. You got yeah. a good. Got good. a white. Perfect. So, so that the and signature I, was signed. I keep it. Great. Yeah. yeah. Great. Okay, so. It's a bar. Okay. Mm. Um, it's, a, it's, a, it's a bar called uh, Uptown Hooligans. Mm hmm. <laughs> and uh, it's a pretty nice bar. Is and this the Animal Kingdom? No, no, no. Oh. Um, it's late. Okay. What time? Same um, day? It's like... So the time jumped a little bit? Yeah. Okay. No, 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 we'll do morning. It's morning at a yeah, bar? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're setting up. They're okay. setting up the bar. Um, and uh, so, yeah, same time. And it's just a, a barkeeper, like, preparing everything, making sure the glasses are clean. And he hears the fluttering <laughs> of a bunch of wings. And then a crash from the bathroom. <laughs> Ogby struts out, accompanied by a cheetah <laughs> and a panther. And on their backs, 13 bats each. <laughs> <laughs> All three of them have bats? Mm-hmm. Okay. <laughs> L.I. Rodney. You said something about a tab I have. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, I'm here to tell you. I don't have a tab anymore. Seeing as I'm an animal. <laughs> You're a what? I'm an animal, Redney. You look still like a person to me. <laughs> Years look the same. You may smell like an animal, but you look like a person. Let me tell you, it's different. All right, you can say whatever you like, but I still gotta, still gotta pay the rent. You know what I mean, Ogby? Rodney, look at these bats. I can <laughs> see the bats. Well, watch this. He like uh, does a little bat dance on one of his hands. You seen this before? <laughs> you think with your hands? No. I, to be honest, I've never seen someone do that before. No. I mean, ain't no more, Rodney. <laughs> <laughs> now take my tab. Tear it up, and I'll never <laughs> see you again. <laughs> I mean, I'm not gonna do that. You know, you can come in and say whatever you like, and I'm, I'm still gonna keep your tab over here. You know, I mean, I've had it for a year, so you not paying it for another year, it's, I'm not gonna be surprised. Romney, can I tell you something? I, I, I have a feeling if I say no, you're still gonna tell me. So I just came here to impress you. <laughs> <laughs> Ogby, I'm impressed. You no, know, you're not. You, no, Ogby, you've been I walked in, in here and you, you said, you said, hi, Ogby. That's all you said. I was in shock. Mm. <laughs> I don't. Okay. You've been coming in here telling me stories about your job for so yeah, old yeah. so many years, and now and now you now look at you. I'm one of them now. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> so you mean that you're impressed? Oh yeah, but I get, I go, I go to wonder. You know, if you, if if you, if you have your tape, 
I think if you became an animal, your tab wouldn't, you know, you wouldn't even think of tabs anymore. You know, it's, but you, you, are you, you needed to, to clear your debts oh, before no. you officially entered the animal kingdom. The cheetah starts to doubt Ogby. Which <laughs> 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 you're like, we're out again. <laughs> no, it's like sort of like, is he a human? They're like, no, no, uh, no. Uh, <laughs> What's a tab? Should I What's start? A tab? <laughs> should, I, should I start uh, individual tabs for each of your bets? Hmm? Are your bets? Are your, your bets starting tabs? No, 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 no. I don't know what a tab you, is. Are you all animals? Is I don't a... know. I'm, I swear <laughs> to you, I don't know what it is. <laughs> is and now, now the panther backs up too, and actually like uh, sticks its claw out. Should I should I refer to you all as a peck now? Uh, yeah. Are you an animal peck? We're a peck. I'm an animal. And I'll never see you again, Rodney. What? At this at this point, a, a sort of attractive woman in her mid sixties comes in, <laughs> and she goes up to the bar for her first drink of the morning. Hello, Ogby. Hey, Papa. What do you think of my animals? You've never looked better, Ogby. Oh my God. <laughs> see, you're way more accepting of this thing than I am. This is he thinks he thinks he's not going to pay me when he and he owes me. Oh, he's because, an animal now, can't you tell? Because a couple of cats are falling <laughs> around you, now. Did you see what Papa said? She called me an animal. Well, it's true, but I mean, like, you know, uh, old Roger that was here last night, he could have come in with a couple of gerbils. It doesn't mean he's not going to pay his debts anymore. <laughs> Roger is filthy rich. <laughs> That's besides the point. <laughs> Look, I'm leaving. I saw the bat start yeah. picking them off. I saw a bloke walking around town with two parrots on his shoulders the other day. It doesn't mean he's an animal. <laughs> Roger walks in. Oi, look at my new dog! <laughs> Oi, Roger! <laughs> the dog's resting on the <laughs> yeah, yeah. I got a new dog! <laughs> it cost me 50,000 quid! <laughs> now that was a good purchase. Yeah. Your debt's cleared. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks, mate. <laughs> What did that happen? <laughs> <laughs> that was my favorite scene in all damn thing. The town hall again, just a side story. It's Ogby's, right. it's Ogby's deep ones. Yeah. It's just, yeah it's As he just, wins respect. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Ogby's misdirected passion. <laughs> <laughs> just a quick Wait, did, aside. Did you, do you need another scene? No, 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 he got the respect of his of his yep. foreign yeah. expatriate yeah. British and <laughs> Australian friends. Yeah. Uh, uh, Abigail's scene. Um, in a sort of parallel to her sister's scene, mm -hmm. um, Abigail is in the enclosure yeah. and she is uh, being licked clean by the wolves. <laughs> <laughs> um, then she and the wolves go for a run around the enclosure. Mm -hmm. um, finally, they eat the raw meat that is um, dispensed to their cage automatically, apparently, because... Or maybe Abigail just goes and grabs some because she's she'd be the, the one keeper. Them, yeah. And then they all eat it. Mm -hmm. um, uh, then she uh, sadly puts on her work uniform, gets out the shovel uh, and the scooper, and goes in search of wolf scat uh, because she needs to clean up some evidence. Oh, wow. um, so now she's just cleaning up some poop. <laughs> <laughs> like you um, do. And, uh, um... Does she have clothes on yet? She put on her zookeeper outfit. Right, right, right. She's, got it, got it. It's, 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 you know, 9.30 in the morning, mm -hmm. and she's ready for work. Like, the kids are coming in. She's oh, waving sure. to them like everything's normal. Um, and, uh... Uh... After she finishes uh, picking up all the poop, she uh, loads it into a uh, canvas satchel and walks to the incinerator that they use to get rid of dead animals, and she incinerates any poop that might have pieces of Sam the lip reader mm -hmm. in it, um, <laughs> which it looks like she's done this before. Oh. Um, and, uh, and then she goes in search of Parker Cobb. And that's all I really want to do. I don't, okay. I don't even know what else to add at this point, because Parker's in the, that could in be your the tunnels. Scene. That's, I feel like that's my scene. But yeah. have you explored the tunnels yet? Have you been to the Animal Kingdom I've been, before? I haven't I've been there in this story, but I've been there before. Okay. Oh, let's go. Okay. Find Parker Cobb. Okay. So um, Abigail walks to uh, the office that she shares with Parker and mm -hmm. Ogby, and nobody's in. And um, she also notices that inexplicably the surveillance videos that have evidence that she's been trying to hide of little Billy the intern being eaten by wolves. There are a couple red feathers on Parker's chair. 
Uh oh. Whoa. And and the and the videos are gone. The videos are gone. The videos are gone. <laughs> and she picks up one of the red feathers and she goes, Peter. And then she picks up the other one and she goes, Philip. <laughs> and then she marches off. Uh, she goes to the sewer tunnel entrance and she sees Parker's jacket and tie yeah. hanging up on the sewer entrance and she just shakes her head. She knows what's afoot and she climbs into the tube um, and she she gets there pretty fast until she bursts through the final tube. D.E. What? What is going on? Uh, a lot of things. Which thing are you referring to? <laughs> Parker Cobb is our outside man. How are we supposed to get things regulated without somebody who still thinks he's a human? Uh, we got a plan. He uh, he didn't totally buy in to the whole becoming an animal thing, but I got the I got Philip and Peter on him. Uh, they're kind of <laughs> keeping tabs. <sighs> Those parrots are irresponsible. They repeat everything. I had not thought of that. Uh, <laughs> that's a very good point. Listen. Shit. There's been another eating incident. With the wolves again? Not just the wolves this time. You didn't. I did. And it felt right. You're an animal now. <sighs> yes, I know. <laughs> I'm so happy. Welcome aboard. <laughs> they hug. <laughs> <laughs> it's like really sloppy, lots of tears. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. <laughs> uh, well, Parker went up. I think he went to the comptroller's office or I don't know where he went. Uh, but they might have had a plan. It sounded like a pretty solid plan. Uh, we'll have to see, I guess. Otherwise, uh, we can just have him eaten. Parker and I have been working on getting funding. Right. For a new park where animals and humans can realize that they are just the same thing. Wait, wait, are we ready to go public with this? If we don't go public, how will any of what we've been doing ever be normal? A lizard climbs into our mouth. <laughs> <laughs> That's you, true. Lizard. That's a good point. We must go public. <laughs> but listen, what? I didn't get that promotion. You didn't? George Turner got it. Oh no, <laughs> that George. bastard! <laughs> George Turner. You and know the what? Board. I, yeah, I knew George Turner's dad. He was a real piece of work. George, he may have had a run-in with the wolves himself. Maybe he will. Maybe like that. Like father, like son. <laughs> <laughs> and I've got a taste for it now. Yes. I'll get my pack. My pack? And see. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Parker Cobb's got All his right. African greys, but they do, ah. they dye their feathers red for decoration. Yeah. Uh, ornamentation. Oh. They're like punk birds. Ah. Punk birds. They dye their, Yeah. humans dye them? To they dye them, them themselves. Ah. We use berries. They use berries. berries. Oh. Yeah, they roll in the berries because they like the Makes colors. us more attractive. Oh. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's crazy. I didn't know that. That's not a real fact. That's not real. That that's, changes that's, everything I was about to do with this scene. Okay. <laughs> that's oh. not science. <laughs> <laughs> um, the board. Peter and Philip. Uh-oh. Oh, God. Of the zoo <laughs> has convened. Oh, my God. <laughs> They are they are at their their board office. Oh my god! In town, the mm -hmm. the board office is uh, in a skyscraper, and it's one of those conference rooms with lots of glass windows oh, on yeah. all sides. Oh, yeah. oh my god! <laughs> uh, and uh, and they're they're hubbubbing, you know. Well, I, I, say, I was golfing with you yesterday. Yeah, 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 yeah. Have you had a sudden, from Godfall? Uh, <laughs> so let's say let's say Parker Cobb's father is on this board. Yeah. Oh. Remember, he used to love that park. As is D.E. Hitchcock's daughter. Ooh, Ooh no. Oh my D. goodness. D.E. Hitchcock has a daughter? Yeah. yeah. Uh -oh. And she's just constantly smoking cigarettes. Mm-hmm. Thin ones. Parliaments. Yeah. Um, all right. A lot of cocaine. Or par or, yeah. And from outside the door <laughs> in the hallway, you can hear a secretary. No, I'm sorry. They're having a meeting. You can't go in there. <laughs> Doors open up. Parker stands, 
Both of the, the the left and the right wing of Philip and Peter are fanned out. <laughs> so I've like a Sephiroth vibe going on. <laughs> and I'm standing okay. there. Good cop. And I just yeah, stand there for effect for a second. <laughs> mm-hmm. That looks like my dad's old bird. Today, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, everything changes. Thomasina comes in behind me. Hey. And she's got the, uh, the, the the papers crinkled up. Controller. I, I grab them out of your hands. Oh. I grab you and I plant one on you. Oh. Oh. Parker. <laughs> ah. <laughs> Thomasina's like in a daze. And I walk <laughs> forward and I slam the papers on the table. I have here a signed document from the comptroller of this city to not only maintain the zoo, but change it into something that it's never been before. You all probably don't know this. In fact, I know you don't, but there is a zoo under the zoo. Parker. And thanks to the comptroller, let me finish. Dad, let me finish. (laughs) Thanks to the comptroller having approved it, we are going to turn this underground zoo into a facility that educates people on the fact that they too are animals. Every person that walks in this zoo from now on will walk out an animal. Walk out an animal. This is what we need to do. This is what we will do. And I will not leave this room. And more importantly, neither one of these parrots will leave this room until all of you approve it. Parker, senior, what the hell is he talking about? Parker, what? Parker, <laughs> look at me. I Parker. made my case clear, Dad. What is, what is this? What is this? What is all of this? This is what needs to happen. No. Okay, we're selling the zoo. We're selling, we're selling the, area. the zoo. It's better for the city. We already sold it. We need this money. What are you? What are you gonna put there that could be more important than educating people about being animals? A mall. It's not simply just. Commerce, Parker. It'll, it'll help the, the city grow. The, the comptroller a, has signed it. There's a Kumon in there. The comptroller died this morning, Parker. Exactly. Dead. Are you gonna go? Are you gonna go on the, the, the last signature that the man gave? The, the, the his dying wish was to see this happen, and you're gonna take it away from him? Just shut up, you stupid human. <laughs> Peter, please. <laughs> Honestly, I have no problem with going against the dying wishes of the old comptroller. The man was a fool. Parker, with terrible cholesterol. Do you know I named you Parker? I hate juniors. I hate them. But I love Parks. I, I don't, it doesn't sound like it. I named it you It sounds Parker. like you like parking lots. It sounds like you like 7-Elevens. Parker, there I want to, it sounds like you like bowling alleys, Dad. I want the cities to succeed, There's Parker. There's a really good bowling alley. Just then, uh, a scrappy young police officer enters the room. Parker, Parker Cobb, Thomasina uh, Tompkins. Oh, oh Junior. Uh, he's Parker oh. Cobb. <laughs> Points to my dad. <laughs> yeah, which, which Parker Cobb? Junior or Junior? Thomasina Tompkins and Parker Cobb Junior. Oh, uh, hi. <laughs> I have up? a warrant here for your arrest. Uh, we well, found your fingerprints all over the hoagie wrappers that were full of a, a an allergen that caused the death of the comptroller. Uh, I'm afraid I'm going to have to take you in. Do it. He was dead when I got there. I, uh, Thomasina was with him. I don't know what you're talking about. Peter starts gurgling. And he spits out a bullet straight into the cop's face. Oh, <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Did that did, bird just puke a bullet? I did that on purpose. God! Oh god! Security! Security! I'll give you in this room one more chance. <laughs> Otherwise, I can't be responsible for what's about to happen. What do you mean, one more chance, Parker? What just happened? You're wrestling with animalness that you can't handle, Dad. Parker, this is bigger than you. This is bigger than me. This is bigger than De, who's still alive, by the way. Oh yeah, oh yeah, he is. My dad is still alive. Yes. We already sold the zoo, Parker. It's done. It's done, Parker. Well, then the zoo. Is going to sell you! I grab a chair. Yes. Uh-huh. I smash the window <laughs> and I jump out, and the two uh, <laughs> parents grab on. Mm-hmm. And we, and we just and just fly then down. and just then two more police officers <laughs> run in and they go, "Hey, stop!" As you fly away. He went distance. that away. <laughs> Peter like, <laughs> like shoots a couple of bullets. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> like, like, they missed. Oh, oh, they're <laughs> trying to get shots off, but they can't. 
<laughs> Thomasina's just like hiding by the door. Oh, Thomasina's still, I'm there. still up there. <laughs> I'm just like, ah. Oh, and one of the police officers comes up to Thomasina and places cuffs on her wrists. Oh, what, what, wow. did I, what did I do? Nice. You're responsible for that death of the poison yeah. paper. Yeah. Oh. Mm-hmm. It you're, was poison paper? Yes, you killed your boss, Thomasina. I did? Yeah, you're going to have to pay for your crimes like a good He's, human. He just had an allergic reaction to the hoagies. It was in the paper. Well, that's Parker's Your paper. Fault. Every single day you feed him you hoagies right. off of newspapers. Yes. And suddenly poisonous paper appears mm-hmm. on the day that he dies. That was just a ploy to get him to read a ploy. the contract. A ploy. We've heard enough. Yeah. You have no, a right to remain Parker silent. Got, Anything you mm-hmm. say can and will Parker be used against you in a court of law. We also we saw a parrot kill our friend. <laughs> that was very strange. Yes. You need to come with us. <laughs> okay. Whose scene is it? It's that yours. Mine. Yeah, it's yours now. You got out. Yep. All right, I'm in jail. But I also mm-hmm. didn't get. But I also didn't get what I like went there for. We only have black dye left. It's I not escaped, gonna be well. but I didn't get. Oh yeah. You know I mean? Oh yeah. So I guess well, you you, okay. you might be in jail, or you could be in the cop car still. Oh nice. <clears throat> oh yeah. Okay, I'm in the cop. Let's car. Let's get Jumanji on this. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I'm in the cop car, right. sitting in the back, and I call. They didn't take my phone, mm-hmm. so I secretly, I call. Uh, or I try to text Parker. With handcuffs on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I text Parker, and I say, Got arrested. I hope you're having a good time. <laughs> Smiley face. Heart emoji. And then I think for a second, and I go, What did Ogby say about being an animal? Those <laughs> parrots really helped out Parker. So I text Ogby, and I say, Ogby, got arrested. <laughs> Hope you're having a good time. Smiley face, heart emoji. Send help if you can. Um, Agby sends back the paw print emoji. <laughs> <laughs> and I send back, I say, ah, cute. And then a little dog emoji. <laughs> <laughs> but suddenly, an elephant appears mm-hmm. in the crosswalk. Whoa. Is that an elephant? What is this? Oh my goodness, it's an elephant. I'll call this in. Uh, Station, we got an elephant on the street. It's on uh, Normandy and Rhodes. Oh my god, there's an elephant over there. I text Ogby an elephant emoji and a question mark. (laughs) (laughs) The elephant turns to the cop car menacingly, Mm -hmm. slams its tusk on a car in front of it. What's going on? Um, uh, I- I'm gonna get out. I'm gonna. We we have to get this under control right now. Okay, we put the car in park. Take out our shotguns. Wait. I I send Ogby a, a, a gun emoji, an elephant emoji, and a bunch of exclamation points. We have the doors open, and we're kind of behind them. We're we're lining up with the elephant, and uh, I take a shot, and the elephant it just ricochets. Off. It's not. We don't have elephant bullets. We're not prepared for this. And the elephant <laughs> turns menacingly towards the female cop and starts walking towards her. Then he, the elephant picks her up in his trunk and slams her violently oh into the windshield of the car. And like, she just like splatters everywhere. Like body parts are flying. Yeah. Like, you've and never the, seen an elephant do this And the before. windshield breaks yes. and the partition of the cop car, the cage was open in the back. So Thomasina just kind of shrugs and kind of mm-hmm. slithers out forward through the hole, falls onto the chair, it really gets nailed by the, the shifting thing in her side. Ah, drops her phone in the cop car mm-hmm. and then crawls out through the windshield mm-hmm. uh, of the cop car. And, and, and avoiding runs the, off. the pieces of body. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The and cop. Ru- covered in cop blood and runs off into the city. And the elephant has turned its steely and- gaze onto the male cop. Mm hmm. And then, and then a close up on her the- phone laying in the blood and viscera and the glass and the f- passenger side footwell of the cop car, mm-hmm. Ogby just texts a little winky face. <laughs> uh, end scene. Yes. I'd say that's a white die. Yeah, I got out of there. Okay, two scenes to go. <laughs> okay, so Ogby got the respect of his peers. <laughs> <laughs> yes, he did. And apparently sicked an elephant on the cops. 
Mm-hmm. Okay, so yeah, yeah, yeah. Ogby was nearby. Um, okay, so here's the problem, though. Um, Ogby was on is on his phone, and the animals are looking at him like, what the hell, man? <laughs> <laughs> so that's what's happening right now. He's got his cheetah and his panther, uh, the bunch of bats, um, and there's also a, a walrus, and... Um, a condor. Okay. <laughs> yep. And, uh, and where are you? Um, <laughs> they're sitting in like um, it's like a shoe shine parlor. <laughs> okay. Gotta get back to the zoo. <laughs> and uh, okay, they're at the zoo. They're fine. They're at no, the no, zoo. No, no, it's fine. No, no. Um, it could be the shoe shine parlor creativity. at the zoo. Yeah, yeah. He walked by it. He used to walk by it and admire it on his way into the work, and so okay. he finally gets to go to the shoe shine parlor. <laughs> And uh, they have an orangutan sitting at the seat uh, with some shoes on. And he's like, shiny shoes. <laughs> um, but anyway, yeah, the animals are giving him a hard time for using his phone. Oh, it's, it's nothing. I just, I'm sorry about that. I'm just an animal like you. Of course, I would never eat. I'll throw it away. So he throws his phone. And then... Um, the walrus stabs it with his tooth. It's like, okay, no, no, me too, me too, me too. <laughs> Just, um, want to say it's, it's great to be an animal with y'all. Always wanted to be an animal. But they all, like, give him mean eyes. It's like, I'm just like you, I'm an animal. Of course, of course. Um, just always believed animals. Equal to humans. The orangutan's kind of looking at him menacing. <laughs> With his shiny, shiny shoes. Uh, I, shoe shine. Uh, outside the window of the shoe shine room, we see uh, Turner, George Turner, running, and Abigail and her wolf pack <laughs> catch up to him and they tear him apart. Help me! Oh God! Oh! <laughs> Yeah, I love seeing that. <laughs> uh, Parker lands, like, right by Abigail. Oh. <laughs> cool. The two lands, parrots. Like, looks at it, Abigail, nods. And Thomasina runs and into the park, handcuffed, <laughs> covered in blood, just kind of, like, looking around, not sure what to do. Mm -hmm. uh, I see Ogby in the, and I, and I run inside. I grab Ogby on the shoulder. We're animals now! Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I see you also have animal friends! Mm hmm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you and me and the animals. <laughs> Thomasina walks in. What's going on? We're, anal we're animals. We're animals now! You're all animals now? Yes. Do you have handcuff keys? I finally realized <laughs> I can no longer save this park with money. I have to save it with blood. Oh! I'm gonna go. What he said. Me too. So uh, he actually starts to creep away. <laughs> Thomasina starts where, walking out yeah, too. Where, where are you going? Uh, to try to get these handcuffs off. Really? You don't wanna stay here? We could probably find something. Uh, uh... The condor gobbles the handcuffs off. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank you. See, you see how resourceful animals can be? <laughs> yeah, that was cool. There's all sorts of things we can do. What do you mean? Parker, you're kind of weirding me out. What? What do you What do you mean? I mean, I mean sexually, you know, there's, there's, there's things. Oh, I got it. You know, if you were. I got it. I'm just saying. Take your pants <laughs> off! I mean, that's that's a very dumb human thing <laughs> for you. Peter, you're surprisingly more human than I expected. Shut up, you <laughs> numbskull! <laughs> this is weird. You just keep your right wing strong, Peter. So, are, are you saying you don't want to be an animal? Hey, listen, everyone. This has suddenly become very important uh, to me, Thomasina. Yeah, not listen. really. Listen up. I'm going back to Australia. I've had enough of this. I don't, I don't want it. You don't, what do you, want to, you don't want freedom? I was happy to show up at the pub and be cool, but I don't want this blood on my hands. The blood is already on your hands. Blood has been spilled, Ogby. Yeah, I'm done. That lady's eating some, my, oh wait, that's Abigail. Abigail! <laughs> 
Are you eating a person? Yes. Yes. It was the shoe shine. She knocked over the shoe shine and started eating. No, I ate Turner. T- I ate George, George Turner. Turner. Oh, George Turner also. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> shoe shine too, though. Are you eating yeah. two? Yeah. Shoe shine chasers. Yes. <laughs> People? Yes. They taste amazing. I mean, I'm, uh, I, I don't know if I'm ready to go that far, but being an animal is pretty cool. I got to admit. I got to go. Hello? Oh, hold on one second. Nine. One. And just as that, the orangutan grabs. Oh, your, your so broken the phone? phone. The phone was smashed. Oh, he well, grabbed. You're trying. You're trying. He like, grabbed the shoe shine's phone. Oh, the yeah. one that was on the whole thing. <laughs> Nine, one. The orangutan grabs it and smashes it on his face and beats it again. The orangutan violently smashes Ogby's head. No! Stop it! No! You orangutan! You beast! No! Slap! Slap! And then the orangutan wipes the blood off of his shiny shoes. <laughs> Uh, and scene. Yeah. That's what you get. <laughs> That's what you get. <laughs> wow. Okay, Abigail. Abigail's watched this uh, exciting display mm-hmm. with a thrill in her eye. Mm-hmm. Uh, but uh, and Turner Turner's dead. She's ripped out chunks of his organs. She's mm-hmm. swallowed them down. She's wearing her zookeeper's outfit still, but it's like just like shredded and tattered and like mm-hmm. super gory. And um, uh, her face is just all like blood. And she's looking crazy. And she goes up to Thomasina. Sister. <laughs> I'm so happy you're here. Uh, You're just in time. For what? For the revolution. Revolution. The revolution? Mm-hmm. You don't have to wear those stupid high heel shoes anymore. I We're like all part shoes. of the same pack. I like these shoes. Don't worry, Thomasina. I won't let anyone hurt you. Cock her. <laughs> Pulls up. You and the, bo- the, the bloody pile of the viscera. Oh! Put your hands above your head and step away from the pack of wolves. The wolves surround Abigail and they surge forward to the cop car and they cover the cop car. Um, Abigail is still triumphant behind their shield of wolf bodies. Uh, I I put my hand to Abigail. We must pick our battles now. (laughs) Yes, Parker. Parker. The videos. The ones that implicate us in Jimmy. His violent initial eating. They're gone. That's fine. I, I think we're way beyond implication now. I mean, clearly, I, 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 I my, this parent shot a cop in the face. <laughs> Your other wolves just ate a cop. Clearly, in broad daylight. I, we need to prioritize here. We have to get de. We, we have get to get him out of here. We have to defend the the nest. Yes. <laughs> it's time. It's time to release Cecilia's great mission. <laughs> I don't I don't fly away, but they lift me just enough, like a couple inches off the ground, and I like hover like <laughs> into the, the zoo. Um Cecilia crawls onto the city streets, <laughs> slithering. She's gotten to be huge. She's huge. Where's Cecil? She shakes. Boom! A giraffe leg sprouts. Boom! <laughs> she rises. <laughs> Dragon wings come out of Cecilia's back. <laughs> A long, fiery tongue reaches out. And she says, Now it's mine. And, like, Cecil pops around her, her shoulder. He's like, You guys are all in trouble now. <laughs> Cecil! Cecil, I'm sorry I sold you. I'm sorry I sold you to the zoo, Cecil. Are you okay? Are you okay, Cecil? I don't know how I can top that. Be weird. Oh, okay. uh, <laughs> I don't know who's uh, seeing this Abigail, anymore. No, oh, it's my you scene, didn't see so, voice. So Abigail, uh, Abigail oh, sure, yeah. screams with victory, and just then the cop gets through the wolf barricade and just riddles her with bullets. Oh my god, oh, she is dead. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> so <laughs> Cecilia kind of like stomps over, but it's like really awkward for Cecilia to walk, <laughs> and just flops over. And the bat, wait, the dragon wings <laughs> flap over, and the the cops shoot Cecilia too. Oh, oh no, no. Cecilia flops dead. 
Th- uh. Thomasina walks over to Cecil, uh-huh. who fell into the blood everywhere, and I pick him up, and I go, do you want to go back to my apartment with me? Okay, let's go. <laughs> and we, like, kind of hobble out of the park <laughs> together. Uh, I flop back in, mm-hmm. and, I, and now I'm, I'm holding D.E. up. And I, I fly D up to the, the, the very top of the zoo uh-huh. uh, <sighs> and drop him off. And then I go down to each of the entrances, open up all the entrances to the park, and just animals just, you know, they're flooding out into the streets, from, you know, <laughs> monkeys and birds and uh, uh, crocodiles and uh, all sorts of crazy stuff. And uh, then I flap back up right next to D. I'm not sure what this means, but it is happening. It's the beginning of a new day, my boy. Let's go golfing. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go golfing. <laughs> end of act two. So that now was like, that wasn't the end of the show. No, it is. No. That of, was very exciting. Hand me the this book. is my favorite part. This so book. now we have like it's basically like end of, end of the movie, just like text on screen. Like they went on to. Be the king of their homecoming dance. Well oh, 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 this, oh, the wrap-up. Yeah, so yeah. roll all your yeah. little, well, d- little, little epilogues. Yeah, yeah. yeah, you can still... Oh, you can totally do, like, flashback epilogues? Or it's about oh, your okay. legacy, yeah. like, how you're remembered. Oh, good, good. Seven white. Not bad. Um, Eight black. <laughs> oh, no. That's actually good. Okay. Uh, so, uh, eight black is nothing to write home about. I'll read it before you do your thing. Um, I have ten. Ten wo- Both ways, so oh, no. zero. Yeah, ten and ten, so you got a zero, uh, the worst thing in the universe. Uh-oh. Uh, and then what did you get? Uh, eight white. Okay, eight Sorry, white six is, white. Six, six white. white is weak, same as mine. Okay. Um, so you got eight black, right? Yes. Nothing to write home about. Back to where you started. Maybe sore and broke, just like yesterday <laughs> and tomorrow. You probably learned something, though, like how to do it right next time. Next time. That fits. So, so uh, is so, he gonna do a little? So scene? then he says like a little sentence about Great. like a little bit about what Parker does now, if you want. To. Yes. Um, so um, I'm in uh, a normal business suit, very totally straight laced, like nothing happened. Um, you, I have a couple sc- funny scratches on like the neck and the face and you know, around the head a little bit, but like nothing, nothing bleeding, no bandages or anything like that. Um, and. Uh, uh, Open up the door to uh, to my office. You can see my name on the door. You know, Parker Cobb Accountant. And I like open up the door and close it. And uh, are you in the same little tiny office as? T- you do not recognize this office. Okay, okay. You have okay. no idea where I am. This is what I was hoping. For. And I'm like, okay. And I go in and just like, hey. I'm like, uh, uh, there's an inbox and an outbox, and I get to get the in. And I'm just like, oh, okay. Another day, and I go to the back and I open up the back door, and there's adding machines in a circle. And birds perched up <laughs> in a circle around all the adding machines, just <laughs> and I come in just really nonchalantly, just like hi, like how you doing, Susie? How you doing? And like Peter, good to see you. Like ah! and I put all the forms in front of them. And I'm just like I need that back by this afternoon, okay? And 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 don't punch too many holes like you do, Philip. I don't, I don't appreciate that. Uh, anybody? I'm gonna go get some hoagies. Anybody want lunch? Okay, I'll see you later. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> okay. Uh, mine is seven white weak. You're busted, beat, broke down, but at least you've learned a lesson about human greed and frailty, right? Oh, It'll wow. serve you well in prison, which is probably where you're headed. <laughs> um, so I, uh, I got fired from the comptroller's office by the new comptroller. Um, it's like a year, a couple years later. Um, I did do some time in jail, but now, uh... I was dating Cecil the Snake for a little while, but mm. then it didn't work out. Mm. Um, and now I work at um, at the 7-Eleven in the new mall. Uh, that is where the zoo used oh to be. Oh my god! Aww. Of course, yeah. Um, and I, my coworker, the deal was done. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> the coworker is is an orangutan with very shiny shoes, <laughs> uh, <laughs> named Jacob. And uh, and it's just us sitting there working at the 7-Eleven, and we both hate our jobs. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, what did you have? Same thing. S- yeah, same. Okay. All right. So, back in Australia, <laughs> Og B before he takes his trip. Oh, it, before everything. Yeah, his dad tries yeah. to talk him out of it. 
This says, was 30 years ago. Says Ogby. Why are you going to America? We have plenty of zoos here. And Ogby says, I don't know, Dad. Kind of just want to be part of something important, you know? Like a big zoo. Like the biggest zoo in the world. Just care about animals. And the dad says, Well, Ogby, just make sure you bring yourself an apple. <laughs> 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 yes! <laughs> the end. Okay. And then I have zero. You have zero. Oh, no. Uh, which is the worst thing in the universe. Probably doesn't include death, since death would be way better than whatever this is. But you already died. Uh, be creative and don't settle for the worst thing that, that comes to mind. There's something darker, more awful, more wretched in there somewhere. Whoa. Mm. So, um... <laughs> oh, let's see. So Abigail um, is uh, she's she's gone on, and she's in this um, world between worlds. And uh, in this world between worlds, she's in a building. And through the windows, she can see the outdoors and her wolf pack. And she's always walking towards the door, but she can never, ever reach it. <laughs> wow. Also, side note, uh, the wolves ate your corpse and the bullets poisoned most of them, and they died. <laughs> it's true. The bullets they did. poisoned them. Except, yeah. except for uh, one wolf mm -hmm. who inexplicably has my baby. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Wolf baby. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> sequel. For the sequel. All right. Well, that was the zoo. Thanks for joining <laughs> us this month for Fiasco Nuts. Thank you, Amanda. Thank you. That Thank was you so fun. Kyle. Thank you, Brandon. You're welcome. <laughs> See you next month for more Fiasco Nuts. Good night and good game. Bye.